Yo, what up, podcast people? This is one and only Legend of Winning, aka Low. We back with another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. On my left, we don't have a special guest. No, someone's supposed to be there. Yeah, someone is supposed to be here. He said it on camera was, and everything. He got. He was. He was calling in 4K. It's yeah. on Twitter and everything. It was, it was going viral. I was like, wow. 1080p technically. Yeah, but you. I mean, he get the gist. 120 FPS. There's a lot of frames. He get the gist. Yeah. Uh, no. So we're not using third mic today, turn it off? Yeah, turn it off. Okay. Turn that third mic uh, off. Let's go turn the volume off. Nobody waste no energy. Yeah, nah, none of that. None, that's, that's, that's none that's of that how, feedback. No, that's how nah. grandparents think about technology. Like, yeah, I don't want to waste no energy now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turn off yeah. that mic. So yeah. I will be tossing into I told a, my grandma I was going to be a guest today, too, talking about Gannies, but. Yeah, I told everybody, I told everybody on Twitter we're going to have a guest. Hey. That's that's crazy. Crazy. I'm a liar. I mean, we got a, we got a spot for the guests. Like, it, it, it's hella comfy right there. It just looks so empty. Cause so, I thought it was a guest. Cause I see the coat right there. I thought the guest went to the bathroom or something and left the coat there because it's, sl- it's slanted to the middle. Where do you see your coat? Right there by the where the guest will be sitting. Look down low. You see it? Look down. There it is. Yeah. I see it now. Yeah. Yep. I see it. You see it? Yep. Uh, I'm glad we all see it. But since I'm not, I'm not throwing it to a guest. I throw it to my co-host, Agent Zero. So what up, bro? Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? I put together a clinic the other day showing people exactly how not to make $100,000 in a day. Um, I just heard so many rappers talk about like 100000 in a one day, one concert. And I just thought like it would be cool to say I made 100 bands in a day. That's I just really want to be able to say that I did that. You know what I'm saying? Because right, you know you got like, you know when you're working your way up, you got like little money milestones. Yeah. I've been my little money milestones from time to time. I Do you want to say that though? I, I mean, this is something to say, but I'd much rather feel like I mean. I would say to myself, really. Oh, okay, okay. Because I have a chart of like random accolades. Because we all know when they make 100 bands in one day, they might go another three months without making a, another yeah, chart. Yeah, but me, it was just like on top of what I'm already making. For sure. And, and it would have been, because I don't think I'm ever going to make 100 bands in a day outside of like an event. Like the HOH one that they just had. It it just won't happen. <laughs> I would have to be. I would have to be a part of some kind of tour or just like an event because that's the only way you make that much money. Yeah, for and sure. it would have to be like a massive event where I'm like the fucking opener or some shit because uh, you have to reach such a crazy level of people care about you before you for could sure. charge and make that level of money. Who make a hundred thousand sure. in a, in a, in a concert? True. Probably like the Travis Scotts, the Drakes, like, right? Uh, Bob for show. Bob. Maybe at his peak, maybe actually. No, no. Omarion, definitely. Omarion. Oh, that nigga, no. Um, <laughs> now when he's splitting it with four other niggas in B2K, and then he's nah, not. he can do 100K by himself for sure. No, he can't. Oh, okay. um, no, no, not that nigga. Hey, <laughs> new Soldier Boy. New Soldier Boy. New <laughs> Soldier Boy's been killing it on Twitch, yeah, by the way. Big Draco, by the way. My fault. Formerly known as Soldier Boy, aka now Big Draco. Oh, where? He changed it? Uh, The hood, no. Oh, okay. Hood, no. Yeah. I'm, you spoke about it. I live in the suburbs, so I wouldn't know. On my right, I have my. Uh, 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 my one and only big big body producer. Say what up, John? Hey, what's going on? It's Jay Boogie with a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, I got the hood on all day. I'm a menace. I'm gonna start problems. <laughs> Don't get scared now. <laughs> I don't think it's fear. I'm feeling. Don't get like scared. Don't get scared now. Don't get I don't scared, think it's fear. Hey, hey. Um, I don't got it. How would me. y'all feel if you were an artist, right? Like, okay. Do you guys remember that song? Can I finish? Um, Can I finish it? Let me talk, bro. What the you interrupted my intro for. But, you know that song, guys, where they go, "I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. If I was green, I would." Y'all know that song? Yeah, chop before you. Eiffel sixty five. You know that song? Now that group had one banger, right? And they really had no lyrics to it. It, it was just a bop. Like you was just mm, when you was. Kid, and you heard it in commercials and movies, you just bop into it. Now, they had to perform that for two decades straight, where that's really the only thing people came to concerts to see and perform. How would you feel if, like, you was making like 20k a show, right? And let's say you're with a group, so that might be like five, six k a day, like, that's good money. A show, bro, that's crazy. So, you're doing shows every few days, they're touring around Europe, they might go to North America from time to time, but every time you pull up, bro, you got to perform the same. Um, blue, if I was green, I would die. Would you be miserable? I was trying to think. I was watching a documentary about them, and I was like, I think I'll be miserable. Wait, if I had so five K for a three minute song? Wait, so you basically? But you're doing a concert, but they're there to hear that one song. So you know how the artists be like, Ah, right, God, thanks for coming through, and they leave, and then they do an encore. Hey, encore. One more time, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. So then after they do that three times, that's really the only time people came to see. Like, 
You'd be a little miserable, right? After doing it for the 50,000th time. Not really. I mean, if that two minute song gets me 30 bands daily, that's I would sing I'm that saying. song the whole concert. I'll that's sing that one song the whole show. But it's not really about the money. It's about like, you did one thing decades ago. And that's all. And niggas anyone. still loving it. That's what I'm saying. Niggas still, still loving, loving it. it. But look, look, imagine you drop your next project, right. and like you so passionate about your next project, but nobody listened to and or heard it. Because I know y'all been to concerts where like yeah. you were like one of the first stops on tour. You yeah. pull up to the concert and they be trying their new material, and the crowd really ain't messing with it. And then they immediately go back to the club banger anthems that people. Yeah. And then immediately people are just back into it. Most but it's like kind of concert is not yeah. really real fans. So they don't know all, the, all your music. I'm gonna keep it a bean though. Yeah, I'm gonna say when I go to concerts, I go to concerts with like people who are like the exact opposite. Where they try to one up you and be like, "Yo, what's that? You know that new button, right? You know that new Joe button, right? You don't know it, right? You don't know it. You, you got to perform it. You don't know it. Uh, you not a fan. You not a fan. I think most people who go to concerts might think like that, but it's just louder when they play their biggest hit. Like more people, I'm not, I'm not saying it's not loud. You know but when when he plays it though, they'd be like, "Oh, you know, you. I bet you don't know this one. You yeah, know you it. Don't know this one. Well, I'm, I'm about to sing along with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. What's the lyrics? Yeah, well, how, what, oh, nigga, it what is it? What is it? How it singing in your ear? Joe Budden, yeah, Joe Budden. You know, Joe Budden. That's what I'm saying. Like, or, people, or like they be like they know like a couple lyrics and they be saying them loud shit just so everyone else knows. They become ad libbers. They become ad libbers. What is what's that? What's that song? Um. They they play in Atlanta. They got like the um like the uh the like the Jamaican drums like Mario Kart. And you don't know no 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 you don't know none of the lyrics. But as soon as he say, see, I just don't give a. F-. You know that song? I don't know that song. I'll There's no way you go to clubs in, in Atlanta. You don't know that song. Maybe the way you presented it wasn't as it didn't make it memorable. The whole the whole <laughs> what, if, how'd it go? If niggas if niggas who go to club, walk a flocker, everybody know walk flocker. Oh yeah, same I'll, same thing without me Mills. Me nah, Mills. I can't read. Oh. No, 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 start niggas start doing that. I ain't gonna lie, no, 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 no. you you too young. Well, it came out back in the day. Nigga, I was no, I lived in the nigga. I wasn't that young. I was, I was getting booty dancing. You were outside that shit. I was in high school what? getting booty dancing. Yeah, yeah high, high school. Yeah. You was in high school. Yeah, high what, school. Who was you? Thirty. College, nigga. Oh, <laughs> when I was in college, swag surf, swag surf came out in college. Swag surf too. Yeah, like now, mm-hmm. see, swag surf actually swag surf. No, I swag surf back in elementary school. I'm not gonna lie, swag surf is a perfect example. I would not be miserable performing swag shit for, for the rest of my every life. Every time, it's a new every vibe. time. You don't know which way you're gonna start. It may start Nigga. left to right, right to left. You know what? So swag surf is now swag surf is damn near crossed over. No cap. Swag surf is so big that white people are now swag surfing on beat. Like they actually know what the fuck they're doing. Oh yeah, they, they, they get right. They do get right. They hear that? They get right. And I, no, and I said, yeah, and I started, yeah, and I said, yeah, and I'm yeah, trying to make though. Uh, like, if your biggest hit was eight years ago, you still got to perform. It don't matter how lit it is. I don't, it's not I don't, swag, I don't, swag I don't bro, bro. Don't think about swag the surf, I'll be straight. Think about no the cap. song that you really fucked with, but then on the two hundredth listen, you still fucked with it. But, but yeah, I might get really paid to fuck with it though. I but the new, it. but when it's songs are hit different when you in a packed crowd with two hundred people though. Two, three thousand, three thousand, <sighs> thousand. Nick, you can go. I mean, so you play swag surf in any HBU, Whole club any HBCU, shaking. any HBCU across. Let's the- talk about that. I was thinking about this. I literally googled it a moment ago. If HBCUs are for black people, why it's is the not. average tuition at Spelman thirty thousand? It's before- not for black people. Though. What the fuck? I know, but I'm saying it's supposed to serve black people. It's celebrated by black people. Okay. Why are they? Why are they charging people out the ass? It's that still a price. That, I'm asking. I'm asking a question because I don't private. know. It's still private. I don't give. It's private. a non-profit And it's supposed to be for It's still a private It's still a private school It's not school. for profit It's a private all-girls school Hey, hey I get what you're saying Howard Average tuition The NBA K. is a that non That doesn't include books That doesn't include living 25K The NBA K. is a non-profit as well But they still charge out the ass for tickets NBA is a business But it's still non-profit Are you comparing a college Where people are supposed to be educated No, you said non-profit So is that, if that's the hill you dying on It's plenty of non-profits that no, charge That's just a property That is one word used to describe but then, the school But then we get into like Why college is in question. general I don't know. Why? I just, no, I'm saying, why do they charge that high? But you're asking why college in general would just charge a lot, especially in the states, which is just. But it'd be it'd be one thing if it was like, it'd be one thing if it was a school, because that's a finesse. It's we already know. Charge so someone thirty no thousand. The average with um, aid with aid after everything is fifty thousand at Spelman. 
Either you fast as hell or you good in them books. That's all. Honestly, that's you, your only saying college this discount. Is if like so you, I'm thinking we all myself, know this. like, why? We all know. Anyway, this. I just I just thought I thought that was interesting. We all know this. When I was at the event, um, uh, Jenna Jenna wanted it and. Um, they came out with a check and well, I don't know what happened. I'm about to say, you kinda, nigga, you, gloss you, like, you kind of move on over there. Like, you skated with that. <laughs> nigga, kind of like, skated on that. Yeah, yeah. Jenna, Jenna won. But Jenna won that thing. Bro, they put a semi pro player. When Jenna won that thing, we we didn't, we came out the checks in HBCUs. Right? Am I right? I don't know why they put a semi pro player against us. I mean, you got, you peeved? You pissed? No. It was rigged? It was right. 100%. Whoa. Take that off. Take that off right now. No, I f*** with the event. The event was dope. But Mm, regardless of whether or not Jenna was there, I wouldn't have won anyway, so I don't care. Who would have won? Duke was heated because he knows that if Jenna was there, there, Duke would have won. Obviously. Ah. Man. Who beat throw, Duke? But we were practicing, throw, we were practicing the day before, throws, before it, and it was very clear Duke would have won. Ba- ba- really basketball. It's more about repetition. What you yeah, call your so shot. that's the thing. Originally, we were, the final three were going to move to the three-point line. So in my head, I was thinking final three, but when they ran the tests, they said that um, we were going to be way too tired. It was going to be horrible for content if we moved back to the three-point line. And I was like, understandable. We're here for entertainment. It was great content for Jenna. No, we but what we, what we realized, though, was that... Um, what we realized is that uh, with all the stoppages, because like for... Like, you have to stop. There's interviews yeah. between every bump. Like, when you play in the playground, there's no stops, right? Yeah. So, with the stops, three-point line would have been fine. I mean, I wasn't tired at all. I don't think nobody else was tired. So, but anyway, besides the point. Um, so, man, she says repetition at yeah. a free throw line. First of all, I think that. a perfect score. I think that out of everyone there, that I'm happy that it was her. You know what I'm saying? True. Because everyone there is established. They've been content creating for a while. We were talking amongst them, and she was telling me she just started up only a year ago, and she doesn't have an editor or nothing like that. So if it had to go to anyone who I felt like could put it to most use, it'd be her. Um, and she's incredibly good at basketball. So the fact that I knew I wasn't I wasn't going to win anyway, I wanted to kind of just surprise people and overperform and make it fun. I was bumped. You had a historic bumped. bump. Huh? Send your bump. Yeah, I bumped the ball a couple times. bump around town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. trying to bump it and just keep it active. Um, yeah. But yeah. I was like, MMG. Very skilled bumper. I didn't know you had it in you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. seen it. I was like, damn. I'm One of play. the best. And, and the defenses weren't that high. So I could have bumped them out of the facility. But I couldn't do that because then there would have been a stoppage. So I had to, like, bump it but, like, keep it in the wow. inbounds. So it was, like, a skill to it. That's a, that is a skill. Like, he knew... The area he had to bump it in so, and made sure to bump it with maximum precision mm-hmm. in the area. Like, maximum precision. No, like, you didn't you did capitalize on that. I didn't know hey, it was that difficult. So look, you know what I'm saying? I, I always <laughs> support like education, but I really believe like I did a Skillshare ad like a few months ago on my channel and I love doing ads on <laughs> shit I really believe in. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm <laughs> at you. No, the reason because I say you that just though going over your whole question. I know yeah, he did. He did. He did. Wait, <laughs> I'll get back to it. But we'll get back to it. You just brought up the thing, that's why. The the reason I believe I was like skill Skillshare is so dope because just like YouTube or really any other platform, like you can learn most anything you need to learn online. The only reason you want to go to school is if you need some kind of certification for something you want to do. If you want to be an engineer, a lawyer, you need to pass the bar, right? So at the event, they were like, Oh, somebody hold like this certificate for the HBCUs. And I was just I just happened to be there, but I was like, Man, I don't I don't really want to do that. Like I'm happy that someone's getting fifty thousand is dope. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it goes, you know, to the right person, somebody that didn't have you know what I'm saying? The money to make it. I'm like, that's dope. But, hey, one of y'all, one, one of y'all hold this. <laughs> and nobody was, I mean, I, maybe people was just like too busy being miserable to listen to what I was saying. I was like, yo, yo, grab this. <laughs> I, was, I, was to, I was trying to hand it off multiple times. But anyway, I so then I Googled it because we don't, I don't, not as far as I know, we don't have any HBCUs in, you know, in, in Canada. So I was like, why? Like, how much do people get charged in these HBCUs? And I was like, mind blown by the number. Did ass because I paid six thousand uh, a semester for tuition, so twelve k total. After on campus, I, after every expense, it might have been like fifteen, sixteen k. I was about to say you did six thousand. No, 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 because I finished three years and I had thirty thousand in debt. Huh? Oh, oh, so in Canada, the financial aid they give you loans and. That's like 60, 70%, but depending on how much your family makes and uh, yeah. they give you bursaries and that's stuff you don't have to pay back. So after I might have had like 10,000, I had to pay back after the year. So I left three years uni and I had 30,000 debt. So to hear that people tuition alone before anything else was being charged 30,000, I was like, but I was about to say, Omar went to like a regular public school and it was 7,000 per semester. Yeah, but that's not too far from what I was being charged. So anyway, no, 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 no. Like before campus, 
before. Oh yeah, me too. Before me too. standard, okay. I know six, so that's not too far off. Anyway, oh. so I'm just saying. I, I know it's widely celebrated, and I, I started to realize like there is a benefit to HBCUs that other schools don't have, and that's once you graduate for some reason, like. I, my university, like, I'm not talking to nobody from the university anymore, right? Yeah. But, like, the class of people you graduate with, that's, like, for life. So then when you're, like, 40 and one person works in media and other person works in journalism, like, you just have connections everywhere. And so I started to realize that in my time here in Atlanta because I know people who graduated from those schools and how they're just connected out the ass around the city. But so that, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, ah, there might be a benefit to it if, if you stay in Atlanta – and you went to like Spelman or Morehouse or any of the yeah. HBCUs. Yeah. Then I'm like, that would be, think about that. That connection is worth so much money. Sure. But the connection also exists with other top tier schools. Yeah. Like yeah. In, North, in North Carolina, that whole, I can't, wait, it's like a, like the, the three schools in North Carolina. Yeah. Duke, UNC, and one other one. I can't remember. But yeah, yeah. that, that is the same thing. Like the benefit of just going there and graduating from there is very it's like you have a very it's very high even even in nba like the way they like duke players talk about one another it's still in very high regards and i'm pretty sure they watch out for one another but like you can say the same thing about um um what's the what's the thing's called the alpha side what is that what's that john frats the what frats frats Right. Fraternities. Fraternities, yeah. Fraternities. Yeah, same you say the same about fraternities. That like if your fraternities may last a long a long, long, long time. So depending on what they may do, that's your connection. Yeah. Fraternities it's you like are if, connected. If you were yeah, a good networker, yeah. then I feel like you wouldn't really need that because you'd have the ability to communicate with people and build relationships and connections. Exactly. I personally am horrible at that. So in my head I'm thinking like, oh, it would be great to have like a whole class full of or just like a league full of connections of people, especially in the city that you plan on living in. Um, but that being said, I don't think it's worth fifty thousand. Fifty thousand a year is wild. No. That's insane. And for a school to be like all the schools to be celebrated, so like um, almost, I never hear anything negative about HBCUs ever, ever, ever. That goes for college as well, though. Like. No, no, no. I hear plenty of negative things about plenty of colleges. There was a um, there was a crazy policy in this college. Some going on in this college this college here raised their prices even more i, I thought you thought about just prices i'm gonna say everybody knows their prices in, in universities are yeah 100 and crazy. it's like that's the that's life with division one or even sometimes yeah, division exactly. two schools yeah. you know it's gonna be more expensive exactly. like before i dropped out of school i was thinking about um and it's even crazier when you're um out of state that's that's just an absolute i know somebody who went to alabama and i was like why <laughs> why <laughs> why why would you oh, man, if they weren't a football player that makes no sense not a football player she wasn't Okay. So no. So uh, I was thinking about going to University of West Virginia because they had a two year program where you left with two uh, master's degrees. Well, you had two ba- two. It was a bachelor of science and ba- it was someone. It was two, years, bro. And I was like, that'd be dope. Two years, two degrees, valid. Um, but then I looked at the price and I was like, what the fuck? I think it was like twenty k in tuition a year uh, if I was out of state. And I was like, that's insane. How am I gonna pay that back? So how are these? How are these? Once they, how are these eighteen year old kids agreeing to loans that they can't default on? There's literally no other. I know we like we, every we, other loan in life. No, you say, can default. I on. know we say this all the time, but like there's literally like I don't know how that that became legal in the United States. And I get that if they could default on it, then a lot of people would, and it would make getting student loans harder. So I understand that. And the only way you can get people that can't afford to be in school to school is to have loans that they can't default on, but I still can't help but feel that it's predatory. At 18? At 18. 18 but, there, is, but there's plenty of things at 18 you're not legally able to sign over. Like, literally. Wait, you can't get a gun. You can't... You can't get a gun at 18. You can, I thought you had to wait till you're 21. You can get a gun at 18? Yeah. You can, get a, you, you can get a cop in front of the store. <laughs> you, you, can, you can get it whatever age you want it. You, you, can, you can get... Um, <laughs> You can get a hunter's rifle at sixteen. Yeah, that's wild. Okay, but you can't like uh, alcohol. I know you, you, you can't buy alcohol. You oh, can't rent a, cars. You can't rent, See, car. you can't rent cars at eighteen. Yeah. But I thought that was an you interesting rule. Cool. You guys celebrate yeah. alcohol so much. They just recently, like a few years ago, finally started putting alcohol in grocery stores. Previously, growing up for us, the only time you'd see alcohol or any alcoholic beverage is at an alcoholic store designed for we're it. Not, we're not that far behind. No, you guys are way ahead. You guys have it at all grocery stores. That's common. They just started doing that for us. I'm, I'm telling you, we're not that far behind because not too long ago, 
we they wouldn't allow people to sell alcohol on Sundays, and they passed oh, that really? law. Oh, and okay. a few years before that, you couldn't find it unless you were at a yeah, store. Yeah, I thought it was crazy that the, the age is twenty one here. I think it's eighteen or nineteen in in, in Ontario. But this is a Georgia thing. Eighteen to buy liquor. Yeah. In Ontario, I think it's nineteen to smoke. How, how do you? How do you? How many podcasts are you gonna ask me this? Someone clip it. <laughs> I'm twenty two, love. <laughs> I'm 22. Just keep asking. I'm trying to get this nigga on, on record. I'm talking about alcohol. How do you get me? How do you? I'm 22. Nah, but um, I can yeah, drink I just, Marcel. <laughs> you want to get a drink after this? You hit the bar, Marcel. No, I'm good, bro. I don't but I, I just, so um, who was it? Was it Andrew Yang that had like one of his things that he kept saying was like, um, schools are getting this much more expensive, but they're not getting this much better. They're and not, it's because yeah. they're, you, they're largely spending the money on lab to convince people to come to the school like athletes yeah. they'll buy crazy facilities and like just things that aren't necessary for learning at all so it's like if you're if a lot of the money you're paying is going to random administrative and luxurious costs yeah. then it's like aren't you better served just learning online or just buy, by yourself you just use some of that money to buy more knowledge but the you could literally you use it to buy more knowledge right. to teach us so we can make millions the crazy part about it is though online class is not even that much cheaper so okay, so that's, that's when it gets crazy. That part is crazy. Is, is the fact that once you go online, you actually largely, not entirely, lose the value of the connections and the networking that can happen when you're just in school. You're and, in the library, you're printing something, and you bump into someone and you make a friend. You lose that. So now the most important thing that you can have while you're there is gone. It's like, then why are people paying? But not only that, I, I felt like online should be cheaper significantly cheaper because we're no, we're no longer using the facilities At forget all. the connections just the facilities alone i'm no longer interacting with those facilities so yeah. you're telling me i'm i'm paying this much strictly for this out-of-day curriculum that's crazy to me yeah my food at my house and i'm still paying y'all money like i'm eating there that's crazy Yeah and And I don't know how It is in schools here But some people did Rack up a bill at my school If they weren't being smart Because like The meal plans at the schools Were OD expensive um, I lived I lived like Right off campus But we In Niagara was mad cheap So it was like Maybe 500 a month For like a luxurious apartment You'd Ooh. split it with four people luxurious. 2,000 a month Yeah and you get like A decent spot a Sensational decent, Yeah just something nice You know what I'm saying But it's like Yeah I don't know I have a lot of respect for the people that like go out of their way to apply for like a ton of scholarships so that they kind of have their way paid. Um, and uh, people that like pay it off ahead of time. So they just work jobs in the summer and they find a way to just pay it off so that interest and student loans don't badger you for the next 10 years. I have a lot of respect for people who do that stuff because it's not easy. Yeah. And keep your grades up. That's impressive. Yeah. Anyway. But it's great. They just change the criteria though. For what? Like what you like if you keep your grades up high enough, they'll just change it to like what you can or can't do to get um like grants and stuff like that. Oh wow. Yeah. Your you guys' I, financial aid is dependent on your grades? A Pell Grant, no. Pell Grant is normally just what your family income is. Okay. But ma overwhelming majority of the rest of the grants are based off your grades. Wow, so you can lose it if you don't perform good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of don't mind that, honestly, because I went to school. I don't know how in your first year, was it just a whole bunch of people that didn't care? Because it was like maybe 40% of our program was packed up after the first year. They all dropped out. Not, not the, we, Ours are so bad that like you, I'll pull up to the um, parking lot the first like two or three uh, months. And then the last like when it's time to pull out like with the raw, like it would go from a full um, parking lot to like half full. Wow. Yeah, immediately. I, I would just, I would, I would get there for the first week and be pissed. I'd be like, why y'all niggas here? Y'all know for a fact in like four weeks, you're not going to be here anymore. Mm. I, I couldn't find a parking spot. Four weeks, six weeks later, easily can just park right up in the front because niggas just didn't care. They just dropped so, out. So let's be honest then. People are really paying because it's not for education now. Don't f sit there and cat to me, especially if you're in a business program, you're in a marketing program, you're in an arts-related program, music, film. Any of those programs is things you're better off learning. You can learn. Man, you don't need someone to sit there and teach you how to fucking cut something in Adobe Premiere. No. Yo, there was a video I watched when I wanted to learn Premiere that was 10 minutes long, and it explained everything you would need to do that's not VFX. So just like like cutting up a clip, how do you, like if your computer can't handle it, how do you use a proxy clip? Simple. And it's like, I did that for free in 10 minutes, and I played around with the program for 30 minutes, and I got the hang of it. That's something that they would take two months to teach you in a random curriculum. They'd be like, all right, today we're going to learn how to add music. 
And and the craziest part is they teach it wrong. You know what's you know what's something real interesting I want to share with the world. Uh, I'm now that I'm looking for cameramen all the time on my channels and with A and P. I actually learned that working with people that went to film school is an additional obstacle. It does not help because people that went to film school think they learn facts. And when I'm trying to teach them that engaging people on YouTube is nothing like you learned on film school, they have to unlearn all that BS in their head and relearn how to engage an audience in 2021 on YouTube. Not the same thing. You're not following the same rules. It's a very different rule book. So I find it way easier to work with people that have zero understanding of cameras. And I could teach them like, all right, bro, you're going to throw in a zoom here. You want to follow the rule of thirds here. You want to do a leading line here. All type. Of shit. I want you to watch the vlog that I recorded with um, at the HOH event. And Waleed was criticizing my um, video. And I don't know what he cut out. Maybe there's some bad video in there. But it was my first time vlogging in a while. And I was trying my hardest to like... Um, and I was just whipping the cam a lot, so it was kind of difficult to do it on your own. It's a big-ass camera, so it was not very easy. And I wasn't flipping the cam, so I was kind of just guessing with my angles. I was, like, thoroughly impressed with how I was able to just capture a lot of shit. Thoroughly impressed. And I just thought to myself, like, that just took, like, a few months of trying. And then I paid attention. You see Jake Paul tried this. I'd be like, maybe I'll pick up something from the Jake Paul video. And then I would see over here on this side, maybe PewDiePie tried this in one of his videos, and KSI tried this. And I'd pick things up. So it was like, I did that for free. You, you, who are you? This SCAD, SCAD, that school here, they'd be charging like twenty, thirty thousand in tuition a year out of state. Mm -hmm. So you can learn outdated. Shit. So it's like, anyway, um, I saw a toasted tweet, uh, and toasted is one of the people, and probably the only person in my life that like school. You know, so I worked with toasted for four years. School first, right? I saw a tweet uh, uh, like a week ago saying school is looking less appealing by the day. And it's like, yeah, because I think you go to school to do what? To get opportunities. But it's like, if you hustle hard, even on the side while you're in school, you'll come you'll up on opportunities. It, yeah, you'll find opportunities. So it's like, so in my head, I'm thinking like, all right, then imagine if you hustled full time type of opportunities that come by. Um, so anyway, yeah. The point I was making about the, um, the um, grace thing is that, yeah, when I was in school in, the, um, in Georgia, we got a thing called um, a Hope Scholarship. I heard about that. And when I first was going to school, the standard for Hope Scholarship was a 3.0. And when I was a junior in um, high school, they bumped it up to a 3.5. Oh, wow. That's a big difference. So then a bunch of people who were like, who thought they were skating by and was going to be good with a 3.0 were juniors. And they were like, oh, no, that, that, that 3.0 you had for the entire high school run? Yeah, no, it's not going to cut it anymore. Do they so, count 9 and 10, like grade 9 and 10? Yeah. Oh, wow. They didn't count that for us for university. Yeah, well, it's, it's all your high school. 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow. 11 and 12 are the only years that counted for us. Nope. That's wild. So you did a whole three years in high school, 3.0 or 3.2. Like, there's almost no way you can it. make it up. Yeah, and they just changed it. Yeah. Yeah. I knew which program I wanted to be in in 11th grade. So I was like, I just need 80% uh, minimum. Oh, they said low 80s. So I was like, 82, 83, and not be valid. But that's basically the same thing. Yeah. That's what that's what 3.0 is. Yeah, so so I got I think I finished twelfth grade with like an eighty six percent average. So like I made my way in there, I'm pretty sure. So 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 yeah. Um so are you gonna skate over, skate over this fact, bro? Did you lose? What are you talking about? Did you expect me to win or, or what happened? No, what happened, bro? What happened what happened what happened to that air ball at the end? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, look. yeah, what happened? So I don't know if you guys realize this. Because when you regularly play bump or bank or knockout or whatever you want to call it, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no yeah. stoppages, right? Uh -huh. So when every time Duke was losing a life, that meant that I was the first shooter after stoppage. So if I missed my shot, I wouldn't have time to put up another shot before MMG took his shot. So as long as MMG is making shots, I can't miss. So that's the reason why Duke got packed up really quick. Because there were stoppages and Duke was getting fucked. But by proxy, when Duke would get fucked, I would be the first shooter. So there was a couple times where I was a second shooter after a stoppage. So after Duke got, you got directly after that. I lost two of my lives. Uh, no, I lost one or two of my lives before Duke got. Fucked. And at that point, I was. I looked at the scoreboard and I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm not winning." It. So you was getting fucked before Duke got. Fucked. No, while he was getting. Fucked. So y'all getting fucked together. Not together, but at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was so, the same damn time. So um. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that uh, sure doesn't explain the air ball, but uh, okay. I mean, I think it was a, it was a damn air ball. I was trying to hit front mm. rim, and then oh. I had to make something happen, right? Uh huh. So here's the worst thing that could happen. Well, most people say just make a shot, but go ahead, go. 
Ideally, I'd make the shot, but yeah. if you remember correctly, I missed the, like the two shots prior to that. Right. So I'm already off, right? I'm right. I'm looking a little cold right now. So in my head, I was thinking like, all right, I gotta do something real spectacular here. And <laughs> do you remember I just came off a bump where I bumped MMG's ball and gave him a point, right? right? So I was trying to do something similar to that. Now this was within the rules, but I think people would have got mad if I did it. You, I could have threw the ball off. Like, let's say I missed my shot. I could immediately get my ball instead of trying to put it back. I could throw the ball at the person shooting next. That was within the rules. Yeah, the way you airboarded though, it was no chance you were getting it. Yeah, I was hoping to just hit front rim. Yeah, but when you do play bump though, the worst thing that can happen is side rim. So a front rim is not the end of the world, but a side rim is because once it goes left to right, then you're getting you lost. I didn't like the yeah the stoppage. I didn't like the stoppage. But I mean, I got it. I got why they did it. And they explained that to us before, so it's all things we knew like going into it. It wasn't like they. Been surprised us. Yeah, because they didn't stop. It would have been over quicker. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be not only been way quicker, but like he's saying, like when you stop and then I'm the first one up, I have to immediately make it because the guy behind me already yeah, has so the ball. Yeah, that's in why. His hand. That's why it was even more unfortunate for Duke. And then any anytime Duke was getting every life Duke, Duke lost was me. I was the first shooter. I was like, damn. What do you say afterwards? Duke. Yeah. Duke was the most heated. I would be heated too. Duke went in there thinking he was gonna make a hundred thousand. So then he didn't make a hundred thousand. And I think everyone discovered like at the same time that she was a semi pro player. I was like, oh man. It was like her form looked the same every time. But I, mean, like, but rushing I, it, I knew that going in though. I was like, well, she was I shooting. Didn't, she was, I, I didn't know. It. She was shooting. But look, okay, look, that's the same mistake Twitch rivals made uh, early on, where they in, like they they had pro players playing up against content creators, and pro players were just destroying content creators. Yeah. Content creators could be good for all they care. But the pro player is just a different level, right? Yeah. So what they started doing is like, especially in team-based events, Twitch Rivals started inviting like content creators, but you can invite whoever you want on your team. And what they would do, they would just get more pro players. Yeah. And so the teams would eventually be even. And uh, but when you're playing solo dolo like that, yeah, that's wild. That is wild. So, so who do you think would want one on one? Duke easily. Easily, but and shooting. Uh, shooting. Duke. I still think it would have been Duke if they pushed it to the three point line. In, in all the, she only missed two shots. Yeah, she was hitting it in practice too, but so was Duke. Uh, Duke was missing in the actual game, but when we were like doing the practice runs, but the, he looked like the front. The thing runner. was, the thing that that saved her, she wasn't stressed. She had all her lives. You get one life, two life. Now you you, yeah, you throw that ball like you're yeah. not using your form no more. You yeah. panicking. She was not panicking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark was talking a lot, of shit, so it was kind of nice to see him get packed up too. Oh, uh, but he made it pretty far. I wish it was like a second place prize. I feel like he deserves something. Mm. No second place. I mean, some team. people would say that Mark deserves something. Yeah, Cause you ain't first. To me, you're last. I mean, <laughs> cause you ain't first. Then what is you? Yeah, to me, you're last. Yeah. Yeah, you're, I guess, but you're anyway. the first to last. That's what I mean. It was yeah. a it was a really cool event. Yeah, I mean, um, Mark, you know, he does deserve a seat on the podcast. But uh, he, he had it right. He had it. He had a seat on the podcast. I thought um, I saw a tweet. It might might have been Photoshop. Did he tweet about it? I saw it in 4K. I saw it. Did he tweet about the pod? I saw the video. I, I saw the video. I oh, saw him you mean my it. video? Yeah, yeah, he said. Yeah, he said he, he gonna be on the pod. Oh, he he wanted to. Him. Here's the thing about. Okay, so I asked MMG too. No and MMG also said no yes. No excuses. All right. But well, you have some. You have a lot of cancels too. No, no but they didn't even. technically can't look. Okay, when a company is paying for your flight, they're not thinking you're gonna stay past the event. So they have you booked for everything they need you for, and then you're leaving, right? right. And so anytime you have free time, most of the time you just want to chill. You, you're not thinking you want to record nothing because you just got done doing like a full day's worth of things. Ooh. So I asked them a bunch of times. They Both MMG and um, Mark said they were like really down. I don't even think there was capping, but it's like after a long day, I understand them not wanting to drive 15, they get 20 minutes. Up by Jenny. I would want to yeah, be and either. we just missed the chance at a hundred thousand. Yeah, so we're not we're not ecstatic, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, hopefully we can get him in uh, Atlanta again and make something happen. But he's, I'll tell you this, Mark is one of them, and the whole RDC crew. I talked mostly to Mark and Desmond, are like one of the most chill, fun people to be around. Bro, I swear to God, just yeah, yeah. he's not any different like off camera than he is on yeah. camera. All of them. Yeah, and yeah, so, like, the rest yeah. of, like, a whole bunch of RDC people was in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just good vibes the whole time, right. man. Good vibes? It was good vibes the whole time. Yeah. You yeah. better than be around in Willie. I mean, that's not really comparable, really. Yeah, you're right. It's not. Right. It's not. It's not comparable. It's not. You said he's you're just right. such a fun person to be around. Like, his ambiance just made you that happy. Like you just real happy. Nah, but, like, it's almost like... Uh, it's like His when, aura? His aura, like... 
Like he was supposed to be like right there. We could have felt it too, low. Yeah, I could have felt that. Could have felt the aura. I mean, y'all could have pulled up. We we uh we went to the gym after, oh. um after the event and just shot around for a bit. That was oh. fun. Mm. Mm. But you don't pull up, so I can't. I didn't hear no nothing about that. I yeah, I asked Davis because Dave. I knew Davis was gonna pull up to play play basketball. Oh, I, so I, I hit up Davis. Davis pulled up. Davis pulled up. You know what I'm saying, mm. yeah. And then you saw me you, hooping today. Yeah, you was doing good too. Yeah, yeah I ain't hooping like too much. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a problem. Yeah, you. It's the next second you got warmed up, you was hitting your shots. Yeah, I got I got hot and it just went downhill for Davis. They ain't <laughs> won never ever since. Yeah, well, when John drives, it's like, man, I know this is gonna hurt, but let's just jump and put two hands up and see beast. like what area of my body is about to get murked. No, oh, I'm a beast in the paint. I get in there, you see them the eyes get real small, you get nervous. Mm. You feel me in your lungs. What? They call me brown smoke. I come to that paint, niggas get, they fear me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah me John's, John's, John's fun to play with. Um, and there was, there was a guy there at the gym that was 66 years old. He was You're in crazy. there like Kareem. Swear, bro, biceps popping, shoulders, delts. Like, he, he looked like a bodybuilder. A freshly and waxed action figure. And, and think about this. Like, there were multiple people that weren't even running back on defense, just exhausted while we were playing. Yeah. A 66-year-old man was running whole time. Uh, he was running. He was moving. No, he was running. As mo- as far as a 66-year-old well, man could His sprint run. Was, a, was a light job, but he was he didn't stop, though. <laughs> but he, was, he didn't stop. But he was going, though. He was going. And I was mind He was pulling up them, them shots. All them <laughs> old NBA shots before yeah. the mom was there. Bro, yeah. like Tim Duncan. He was just 10 feet away. Boy. <laughs> Buckets. It was unbelievable to watch. Jimmy mm. Eisenhower in the paint. Like, <laughs> going stupid. <laughs> Bro, that shit was dead ass. <laughs> Impressive to yeah. see, man. So I was tell them they got a little cocky. I was telling them, I, I gotta get back though. It, it sparked me up. Yeah, sure. me too. That felt so good. It felt, it felt great. I miss being able to hoop for like hours without being like dead tired. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, once you gain weight, I it lost a good competitive the, game. That's what it's all about. Yeah, too. It, was, it, was good, it was good. Those are the good ones. Those are, well, you're not just bullshit, but it's not too yeah. serious yeah. though. No, yeah, the, the ones are like we all lighthearted, but yeah, we all, but we're still all dead trying. Trying. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the, that, those are the good ones. Those yeah, are that felt great. Yeah. I didn't want to get up because I, I just woke up from a nap. I was watching some uh, Call of Duty League yeah. action. I went to the whole. David tell you I went to the whole wrong location. You know how David calls you in a panic and tells you a bunch of information real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. like he called me. I was asleep. I woke up. I was like, yo, yeah, we about to hoop at five. I said, I said what? I said we hooping at five. Just pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. I said we got a pocket. So we'll call and call me back. So I call him, call him back. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. We about to pull up. Be that five. Be that five. So I'm they, didn't, they didn't get there till like five forty five neither. No, because I went all the way to Woodstock. <laughs> And I was way though, David. You know what, stock? Yes. That's the only gym I've been to. I haven't been to Sandy Springs. So when he said pull up to the gym, that's the only gym I've been to. Yeah. Anyway. Tough. Yeah, good times, man. It was an overall great weekend. I almost missed it. I'm not, I lucky low low it was hot. I was yeah, so you so you so it was a good weekend, bro? It was a good weekend, man. Fuck with it. Yeah, the whole How how was Kenny? How was Kenny? Kenny was like busy, bro. When he wasn't doing our stuff, he was like doing shoots left, right, center. But he so was I, in good spirits though? He looked nervous. I'm not gonna cap, but like for good reason. Whoa! He was the first shooter, though. It was on my. Yo, video. come on, bro. He was nervous. He bro, was like, he's a king of the fourth quarter, man. How is he nervous? <laughs> come on! <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna let. Hey, I'm not gonna let this nigga try you like that. Yeah, that's uh, what he said. In, oh, I don't think Willie put it in the video, uh, but he said that though. But he he posted to say that it's a psyche game. It's okay, psyche maybe then that's if that's what he was doing. That's, that's what he was that nigga's the king of the fourth quarter. So okay, he wasn't nervous. Then never mind. That nigga was not nervous. But man. outside of that, like you feel for that? he was mad quiet you feel though. For that? Yeah, Kenny was awfully quiet. Maybe he was just like focused because he had so much stuff to do. Because mm-hmm. it was like it He's was like everyone was in, everyone was chilling, and then Kenny was somewhere else, and then Kenny would come back because he just finished the shoot somewhere else, and then he would join us, and then he'd just be like he was just on go. I think he was just in his like working mindset. He did so much stuff with House of Highlights. He just I guess. You know what I'm saying? Just trying Shout to knock him out. Yeah. Half my check going That's to you by crazy. the end of the year, man. No cap. How much that after taxes? Hundred thousand? Yeah. In Georgia, probably cool little 82, 78. No, it's 70 something. Depending on how great your accountant is. Free throw got her eighty five thousand. Yeah, that is that? wild. That's crazy. That's wild. That's a new test. I'm going to have to work so hard to make that money now. <laughs> she just made free throws. I'm going to have to work so hard. She's she, 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 about 80000 now. She's she a semi-pro, so I mean... She, yeah, that's that was she she free throws the most important part of the game. They're in games and win games. Yeah. You know? Who say, says that? What? 
You think <laughs> John's just old coaches probably? John, John yeah. is talking right now. No, old coaches say that free yeah. throws are just important as yeah. anything else. No, they say it's the most important. Just to, you know when they just say things that they don't believe just, just say to it. drill at home? Be like, yeah, for they be like inbounds is part one of the most important parts of the game. No, it's not. <laughs> just pass Stop. the ball. Just give me the ball. Dribbling man. is more important than hey, inbounds. Man. Passing. Throws, you know what I'm saying? When you're tired, <laughs> you use your legs. Make it work one day, get you 85,000. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Hey, little bros, hit your free throws. Niggas trying to be Curry. I want you threes. Curry's still a good yeah. free throw shooter, too, bro. Yeah, hit your free throws, man. Amazing free throw shooter. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, um, All Star weekend. Here in Atlanta, downtown is crazy. Have you been Niggas downtown? Going crazy, bro. I was, was driving. Me and my around. girl Lou was like, no, we, we there just were, stayed there on was the women perimeter. Like twerking that's twerking it. randomly on the road, just twerking. Dude, Imagine. you saw you saw Duke, Duke Dennis's, huh? Oh, he was in a car. Oh, I don't know. You put it's lit. Bro. We you put, pull you over. Put the on. Hop out of it. Just like we were, we were walking and at just at a balconies is just women were catcalling up like the group of people. Oh, I do. You, when does that happen? You get chose. I'm gonna get chosen. What you get summit. You gonna answer that? You you get they chosen. They see you. Oh, they, no, they wasn't looking at me. They see you. They, they weren't looking at you. What? They, they see the knockout video. I said, hold on. That they ain't Bruno. Saw, they saw the H. They saw the H. Hold on. So that ain't Bruno. Man. They're like, whoa, those, those vlog that, cameras? Those you That H is zero? Oh, no, shit. I'm gonna catch it. Bro, they was Bruno. Hey, Bruno. Bruno, you looking good, Bruno. Check it out. Check it out. Hey, Bruno. I'm playing your hair, Bruno. Is that Rock Jr.? Who, me? That's granted. <laughs> you felt like you said, who, me? <laughs> nigga said, who, me to you, nigga? Hey, hey, well, she would have been like, she'd be like, never heard that she'd be like I got you now. Yeah, give me your number right now. Give it to me, no, nigga. Give me like, your number. like in a building. And give we me your were... number. Yell it to me. Yes. <laughs> bitch. You ain't gonna do it? You a bitch. Yeah. Ho? Hey, nah, they couldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> no, and like everything was like full, bro. The roads were oh, full. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything had a lineup. There were gas stations where I, I don't couldn't know why tell I said Duke didn't. Let me do Linux. Linux was so lit. I thought they was giving out stimulus checks to bro, the they they, but they fought. Niggas just there. <laughs> they fought. They fought in, um, they fought at Cumberland. They fought at Cumberland they fought everywhere. And they fought at Linux. It's yeah. a brawl everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Everybody left on bricks, too. They were sitting on 28. It's not even on brick. Can we talk about the, the girl? So, okay, bro. Hold on. Wait, <laughs> yes, that was Wait, wait, bro, wait, wait, bro, wait, bro, wait. Bro, Nigga. Not me, you. Nigga, wait, the, wait. Fu- the amount of like old school Cadillac cars I saw, niggas sitting on 28s <laughs> was retarded. I've never seen yo, that yo. many in my life, bro. So I was in the garage at the hotel. 39. They had to stay in, right? Ridiculous. I was about to park my car and go into the hotel, right? Yeah. But I saw a guy walk. And I was like, oh, okay. It don't look like he have a car here. So then I waited in my car and we was in the middle of the A&P meeting. So I could have done it in my hotel or my car. It didn't matter. I was on my phone. Yeah. So I saw him walk again. Uh-huh. And is he running laps in this garage? What's going on? I saw him walk two more times in the next 30 minutes. And he didn't have a car in that garage. It was like the fifth fucking floor of the garage. He, walk, he must have walked up to the fifth floor. And you, I don't know how, how close attention y'all pay, but you don't leave cars and garages. And I went there with my Audi because John had my Range Rover. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to fucking leave this car here with a guy doing laps. Yeah. And he looked like he was just looking for you know, the gloss wheels right there. He would have just yoinked them bitches. So I literally just drove away. Yeah, I swear. Went. I went to the event two hours early just because I was like, I don't want to leave my car here. So I'm just going to leave this vicinity because I don't know what's going on, but it's All-Star Weekend and people trying to find a come up. They're getting left on bricks, pumps, <laughs> branches. <laughs> oh. And no cap. Deodorant cap. No oh, cap. I, 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 that was the first time I've seen that in a long ass time Dang. where niggas' cars was like legitimately... Off like, they like wheels. straight NASCAR pit crew. Yep. Like cars on all everything it's, missing. It's been a while since yeah. I've, I've seen that in Atlanta. No and, and so uh, after we we went out in the night and we came back at the end of the night, I was gonna go up to the hotel room and grab my glasses, right? But then once I got out, I locked my door, um, and everyone else already went in at this point. I heard a car alarm go off, and I'm like, that's so normal in the garage. I'm not gonna bug out about that. That turned off in like 15 seconds. Another one went off. So I waited. Two more car alarms went off, and they they were different alarms. It's not the same car. That is hitting them. Nigga. So so I was like, I'm out. Like I'll get my glasses at a later date, but I'm out right now. So I drove away and I just came home. It was like five a.m. I didn't even want to drive home and sleep. I was just gonna stay at the hotel room. Crazy. Man, they're going crazy, and the water boy just stored the niggas too. <laughs> they're getting stored it, bro. I seen on Twitter, stopped the whole car. <laughs> nigga was late to where he was going. Dead ass? Yo, yes. That's wild. Niggas niggas. Is wild. Like this weekend, niggas is wilding. Now let's talk about let's talk about homegirl who got stuck here in Atlanta. Oh, the one that got stuck? Yeah. Get, 
She got like five hundred seventy-seven dollars on her repost. Like it's but only see, sixty dollars spirit. But see, I, I heard for, first of all. Okay, so people who don't know, Caleb is probably gonna put it right up here somewhere. Right. There was a girl who was um. Are you posted that shit today? Who got who came <laughs> down here to Atlanta? It's very similar to like the whole Super Bowl story a yeah. few years ago um, when he was in Miami. Came down here to Atlanta for All Star Weekend and got stuck because she only bought a one way ticket and didn't have the money to go back. So then she did a GoFundMe. Either that pussy. They said, trash. "Give me, give me thirteen hundred to, to go back to go back going, to bro? New York." Hey, I'll let you know right now. That's a one hundred fifty dollars okay. flight. I'm maybe. maybe. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the bean. You have to have trash not to get a plane to get back trash. to New York. It got. It got to be poop. I'm being, I mean, so you have your straight, straight your box got to be trash. There's no way on All Star Weekend you not giving your. To a nigga who can't give you two hundred bucks, can't give you one sixty for a flight plus a carry on bag. Trash, you got trash. No cap. There's no way. Either you got trash or you the laziest. Honestly, that's her profile picture. You the laziest jump off I've ever seen in my life. Catfish that profile picture because she She looked that. She didn't look that bad. So you got trash. You gotta be trash. You have trash pussy if you're begging for thirteen hundred during All Star Weekend, where niggas are trying to like well, just she show off some weird shit. Like she trying to be celibate. Like she didn't want to fuck on boy that brought it. Then you the laziest jump off right. of all time because you're not gonna do that. Yeah. Why? Why All-Star would you weekend. be that type of a woman and you come down to Atlanta for All Star Weekend? That don't make no, no sense. Everything's expensive. Valet sixty dollars. Club. Yo, they, they tell you about they went to the bro. Yeah, he he told me. But they we they okay. So uh, we're gonna go somewhere. It was seventy five to get in, right? And then at the door, they, first of all, they do this like scam shit at, at places where they're like, "Oh, that's only valid till 12. And we got there at like twelve thirty. No, no, that's Atlanta for you. And so they so there at nine thirty. Probably wait. made. Yes, that's what my girl told they me. They probably too. made like thirty, forty thousand just off people who couldn't make it there before twelve. Yeah. And then they were charging three hundred to skip entry and two hundred for general admission. They got you. They, that's how they get you. They know ass. nobody want to get there early. Everybody want to get there fast, be late when it's lit. So they say twelve o'clock. By eleven o'clock, the line already wrapped around. But see, that's that's what my girl said. My it, girl said, even if you get there around like eleven forty five, eleven thirty, you have to wait. You still have to wait. You would have to get there at nine before. Yeah, at least at ten thirty. At least because the lineups was around the corner. You want to be first and get that free? You gotta get that nine, and, and you gotta stay in that empty club for a little bit till it get lit, or they're just gonna hold the line and make it look good. <laughs> Which is wild, right? They be like, yes, yeah, I've yeah, you know, we seen out here before. All Star Weekend. Look at that line wrapped around the building. So Nick, look, how long you been here, Marcel? Two hours since <laughs> 7.30? Yeah, we lit this All-Star Weekend, man. After the game, we got a little Dirk and Future not pulling up. We put him on a flyer. <laughs> I'm saying right now, y'all niggas, tonight, you know, if y'all niggas go to a club because a rapper is going to be standing in the VP. Bro, he ain't he, he, he even performing. Yo, bro, he he just walk through. Okay. Y'all niggas is corny. Oh. Yo, let's go. We got y'all niggas. I'm not going to a club to watch a nigga hey, stand hey, in the VIP section, nigga. 150. No, 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 no I'm no, no, not. No. Nigga, I'm not doing this that. This is how you could and tell. And buddy, that ain't show. Nigga, just buddy sitting there. Buddy something better to do. Nigga, just sitting there doing... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No, no! They had the mask on. You know, push lights got him. Yeah, and nigga, oh, just, <laughs> nigga just he just dancing. Nigga, he ain't doing nothing. That nigga ain't grabbed the mic at night. No. The DJ just flash the lights on that nigga every now and then, and then go right back to spin another be, record. Niggas be making flyers on Photoshop. Just putting shit. Future will be in town, but he said he ain't pushing up. But we gonna put him there anyway. They, they but, can be a future looking like. I swear, I'd be surprised if they didn't do that. Okay, this is what we did. Um, and it was, a, and keep in mind, like, it was my decision at the end of the day. So we telling the story? I'm not saying who's in oh, it. Okay. I'm just saying what I did. Okay. okay, so, like, we pulled up, like, pretty deep. Uh, but I was like, we should stop at the ATM because that's a mistake we made last time I went with low and it wasn't nearly as packed. So I was like, yo, we should maybe stop and get some cash. We didn't do that. Now, all the ATMs there had no cash. Again, Pete. And we had to walk to an ATM that worked one out of every five times. Took us an hour Nigga. to pull out like fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> again, again bro. I'm, te- I'm let it yet again. I'm telling y'all, etiquette: get the cash before you get there. Yep. Stop doing that because not only because last time we went, this only was like a minimum. You got to you got to get a hundred out of the the ATM. I'm not even trying to spend Yeah, it was two hundred minimum, so we had to do it over and over and over again, and they kept declining. Over it, it, it was the worst ATM ever. Anyway, besides the point, that took us an hour just to get cash, and then and then okay, so we we eventually got in, and Rick Ross was there, Mulatto was there, and maybe like a few other artists. Now I don't go out, y'all, and I can know, I know that because in my head I thought like, oh, Rick Ross must be performing or something, because otherwise, why the fuck would people care? You said Mulatto, yeah, Mulatto. Nigga got hyped because Mulatto was on a flyer. 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I ain't give a fuck. She look freak elite, though. She's from Clayco. Nigga, it don't huh? matter, bro. She's going to be <laughs> <He's> at <laughs> the top. Just. No, I agree with you. I ain't saying. For sure. I'll catch you when you walk out. I was in the parking lot. Charge niggas. Charge niggas parking. That's all they doing at the top at the top of VIP. Okay, but so we eventually got in, and I was like, all right. So this nigga said she's the point. Nigga said she from Clayco. You're retarded, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> is she really? She, she is. Do you know what that is? Yeah. A lot of Clayton County, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. It, she is. Yeah. Oh, I had no clue. Wow. You can't hear in her voice. I don't know what people from Clayton County sound like. So she sang the song. Clayco raised me. Clayco raised me. Fucking okay. Clayco made me. So I don't want to hit the lotto. I, I, I go there like lotto. once every month to shoot videos, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, um, oh, yeah. what are you saying? Okay, so uh, we got in and I, I just stood there and I was like, oh, we need a table. I'm not going to stand here. The fuck I look like just standing here. So uh, one of the That's guys. That's the weirdest shit. So weirdest. Plenty of people weirdest. knew me there, which I didn't think was going to happen because I'm like, this is not my crowd. The guy that you pay to get in, he knew me. Isn't that wild? You nigga going to a club, nigga smoking weed like. <laughs> Oh shit, that Asian Bro, I had a what mask up, nigga? I had my mask on And a hat There's All you could see Is my goddamn eyes <laughs> And a little bit Of my facial structure And people are going That's Asian right there <laughs> Yo <laughs> Yo, that Asian right there <laughs> Hey, babe Hey, babe That's that nigga right there We thought we watching shit <laughs> What's that up, that nigga? That Yo, okay. Him. Oh, what's up, that nigga? You good? You want that it? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm good, man. Oh, nigga smoking. Nigga smoking. So that he, is him. everyone was yeah. everyone was smoking. So sure. one guy pulled up to me. He's like, Yo, I do photography. He showed me his IG. You know how people just be trying, like, yeah, just trying sure. to network or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, Yo, bro, I, I sit over there by like Rick Ross, man. He like you, uh, like, and, and he was just trying to pitch whatever. And I was like, Oh man, we trying to get a table though. Uh, and he's like, Oh okay. Yeah, man, there's no tables right now. So eventually he left, right? But then he came back like 15, 20 minutes later. And then he was like, yo, I just paid like $100, man. You and a friend, like you just gonna bring a couple people, man. Say hi to Rick Ross. And I was like, I don't, I just asked him for a table. I don't really want to, what's that interaction look like to Rick Ross? Like, all right, man. What if Rick Ross is like, yo, that agent, my <laughs> nigga. I <laughs> gave you a bottle of rosé. <laughs> hey, I'm alive. Bella. Yeah, this, 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 this is a nigga. It's a funny nigga I was talking about right here. No, so that wasn't going to happen, nor do I want to scream over the loud music just to say hi to Rick Ross. So I was like, this is also very weird activity. Yeah. Yo, hey, the weight loss is real inspiring, Rick. <gasps> What'd you say? <laughs> huh? What? My I like the weight loss. Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah. You so, up in a nigga ear like, yo, man, that last shit you put out, crazy, nigga. Nigga be yelling at you like this. Hey, yo, Rick. Oh, shut up! That'd be close as hell. Like, close as hell. Niggas be standing right there. Remember Pepper? Burr. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was a couple days after that drop. Yeah. So um so I was like, nah, I really we just want a table. And then he went from like, there's no tables to yo, there's we got tables like right right there and right there and right there. Mm. And I was looking, I was like, all of them look full to me. So like, where are these tables? So I was like, we just need a table. And he's like, it's gonna be like a hundred a person for a table. I was like, God damn, because you paying a couple hundred at the door. And then on top of that, the ATMs don't fucking work. And the only ATM that worked, we had to walk to. And it took an hour for us to pull out like a thousand in cash. So it's yeah, like all star weekend, cash, cash. Let me let me be let me let me tell y'all the other side of it. They asked me, you know, the resident Atlanta finest. They asked me where to go. I told them where to go. Niggas disregarded me. I'm like, why even ask me at that point? I hate when niggas ask me shit and they disregard the shit I tell them to go do. True. Niggas didn't go to the fucking place they went to. They said, yo, buy your tickets and send me the link. I was like, no, nigga, that doesn't make any sense. Because it said the same thing. The amount of money and it said valid. It's not valid in, until like our after 12. I'm like, I'm not about to spend this money and then get there at the door. Even my girl was telling me, we're not going to spend the money and then at the door they're going to say, you got to spend another couple hundred. Yeah, a lot of people was cheesed. Real cheese, man. It was at the door just yeah, yelling do and that. shit. That's, that's what they do. They got the nigga that run around sending that. He'll call you broke. Have you seen you in line like wearing something nice and you didn't skip the line? He'll join you. Oh, yeah, no, anyway, because the, the other place we went to, they have a capacity. But that so was they, a way better time. Way better time. I know, but they also have a capacity. So there's only a certain amount of people they'll let even let in. So yeah. even like how we walked in, it may not have been easy to get a seat the way we walked in, but that's easily one of the, that's that was easily one of the best strip club experiences ever. Yeah, so Mad I, I, yeah, we got to go back there since I got all these ones that I haven't used now. I have a bunch of ones <laughs> downstairs too, just downstairs. <laughs> Literally, I like $250 in ones, so. Just let me know. <laughs> hey, man. Hold on, wait. I think. You got it on you? I can, this is this small stack right here. Why do you have ones on you right now, man? I gave you something to Waleed and he gave it back to me. Uh, 
What was he doing? <laughs> oh, no, I don't worry about it. I don't worry about it. Hey, man, but um, that, but yo, the girl. I'm, all right, go back to the girl. I mean, so serious. What did the girl do? Explain it. Oh, the girl got stranded here. Who got stranded here? Oh, the girl that got stranded here. I, I, you ain't even landing niggas. Niggas just throwing money out here. That's what I'm saying. Niggas is throwing money. There's no way you could have really stuck. just been around a rich nigga and picked up 200. You could have been around an average nigga and picked up 200. No oh, cap. Yeah, they would just spend it. They last. If you, if you walk into the right. Average nigga, and you look good. You look good, and you, and you just throw him some pussy, a piece of pussy. Oh have, my god! You better get a put. You get to give him a tuggy. I'm saying, yeah, just a uh, tuggy. That's why. If a nigga spend twenty on a tuggy, I'm done, nigga. <laughs> niggas spend it for anything, and niggas spend too. But niggas uh, on a weekend like this, niggas are spending money just to say they spent money. That's the problem. Yeah. And there's no way you come here and niggas are in in Linux flexing, niggas are in Cumberland flexing. I say flexing. I just say loitering. <laughs> but they, but niggas, but niggas go, niggas go to Linux. Niggas they just go. pulled up and stood around, Man, man. my friends crazy. said he's parking Linux. Niggas just stood like, where were y'all at? Linux? What y'all doing? Shit, chilling. There's a lot of people here. So, so, a lot of people at one place is just keeps filling up. See, now that's it. I ain't, yep. I can't. You gotta stop talking to them friends, nigga, because there ain't no way. Ain't no, I'm gonna talk to a nigga and say I'm just at Linux chilling because there's a lot of niggas here. No. Yeah. Niggas be like, where y'all headed? No. Bro, Linux going no. crazy right now. Oh, we're about to go by. None be pulling up. Linux turned into Afghanistan every other <laughs> month, nigga. There's no way I'm, I'm going they to Linux. They probably have metal detectors in there, aren't they? Oh, it was I a gun mean, range man. three weeks ago. I'm about to say, niggas, it's, it's, you think they're stopping niggas? They're getting in there with a gun? Yes. I, I mean, I would, okay. No. But don't, I don't no. think they have, they don't they have, have a, a plastic detector. gun. Nigga. No, if you go, you have to get they a want to, get gun in, to run down your bro, If Linux was as serious about guns as they were about cameras, <laughs> then oh, they would get bro, all the guns out of there. You have a camera in there, man. You like a like a bad person. Mall cops be on you, like on your neck. Yeah, like, you don't have two minutes after you enter. You ever been in a security There's, office? Yes. Over you. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I was saying yes before he said that shit. But they be on you. Two minutes in. Oh, excuse me. You can't have that here. Yeah, I dodge be a bandit. A nigga be walking by them with a fucking AK forty seven. If a nigga got a cannon next to him, they're like, "Whoa, <laughs> nigga, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. nigga, oh, wrap this up. You gotta wrap it up. If you got a Luminex with a road mic, <laughs> you <laughs> might get tapped. <laughs> and you're like, "Whoa, nigga, whoa, what's, <laughs> you, what's up? You what's might get on? hit. <laughs> what's going on? You ain't got niggas no walking backwards. Shit, huh? Niggas like CSI whispering and shit. Like, it's, like you got a bomb with." Bro, I was. We were outside in the parking lot. Yeah, we of Linux outside. shooting uh, for a video mm-hmm. and. In like a matter of like five minutes, the security pulled around and they're like, "Oh no 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 no, yeah, niggas was, niggas was voluntarily coming up to us. Yeah. And I went like, we were like, four. we at that point, we had actually stopped asking people. They were just uh, coming up to us and he was still like, they've been doing that uh, so long. Nah. And then, I think it's the diamond testers. They've been throwing them diamond testers at Linux for a good four months. <laughs> that, that has to been way more than four months. That, has, that has to be, it has to be an iPhone. They, the, what they shoot has to be an iPhone. Yeah, definitely. Has to be an iPhone. Definitely. Because there's no other way you can and get And they're not going to stop people from shooting an iPhone. That'd be wild. Well, you take them. You take them. I mean, they pictures? can. They, know they can. They can. But they just do it so quick that it's yeah. like they definitely know. They definitely know the had to juke one nigga. Oh, they, if I the, see the un- popular if, culprits, if, if yeah. I see unghetto Matthew <laughs> walking Linux, that nigga, I'm, I'm I'm gonna have every camera following that nigga <laughs> off rider. As soon as I hear someone got a man, I'll go <laughs> running that man with. And, yeah. and he's like the security nigga. Get your ass out of here, nigga. Yeah, yeah. This is with Marcel and <laughs> nigga. We were out. We literally. <laughs> And we're going through each other's phones. All right. <laughs> Got a skedaddle. What's about the relationship? Look? Yep, you're broken up. Uh-huh. Gotta go. Backflip, 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 backflip. Back uh, back uh, and then they go, then they go skedaddles on the other side of the wing of the fucking bed. Man, there's no way. Nigga, there's no way that nigga can come. I didn't through. know it was that serious. So I went there one time. I was just holding it. And niggas just looking at me like, I'm stealing. Yeah. Which people, like, wow. You're bro, missing out on real crime. People pulled up on me and they were like, yo, that agent. And I was like, yeah, it was good. Was, yo, we're shooting a video right now. We're taking people's temperature. I was like, that's a creative video idea. They're taking people's temperature analytics. That's Already in the ball. Like, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Which is wild, right? <laughs> you you dab somebody up. Yo, welcome to my video. Let me take a temperature. You cool? What's your name? Breathing on you. Uh, Lorenzo. <laughs> Breathing on you. Ah, 109. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. So, so I did the little video, but it was like, they pulled it out like it was like uh, contraband. They were like, all right, you got to be quick now. Nah. All right, put up, put up, put up, put up. Let's shoot this real quick. And they shot the little video with me, and then they were out. But it was like they knew they were doing something fucked up. Like it was like it was like we were doing an illegal drug deal down there. 
They're like, we gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick in the mall, man. Niggas recording. What the fuck you gonna do? Oh, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. But I, hope, I hope Atlanta stays this lit for a second because we can go outside and go record a couple of videos. You know? Oh yeah, saying? we definitely should have. Said I don't. I don't. I don't feel that comfortable doing it. No cap. Why not? Tonight, bro. Mm-hmm. No, no nigga. I've been downtown no. the past few days. No, I was about to say not tonight. No better time than this right now. Ni- niggas got the. Nigga, risk you were you were going to Cumberland when niggas is fighting and shooting and shit. They didn't shoot in Cumberland. Niggas gonna risk it all tonight. This is the last. Oh, they're really fighting. You hit your leg yesterday. They gonna hit it tonight. This the last <laughs> night, nigga. Niggas getting right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight is the night, nigga. It's the, it's the last night. Tonight is yeah, nigga. Trying to hit it's now or never. You owe you owe Big Papa Lupo that ten k. <laughs> the only <laughs> niggas who really eat right now are Uber niggas. I'm definitely Ubering hey. tonight if I'm if I'm Ubering. That's, That's it. Just, I did. I seen so many pictures of so many bricks or cars, bro. I'm terrified. <laughs> Oh, yeah, going to city. Willie's been showing me because he's following like the Instagram pages that keep yeah. people updated, and, and I didn't realize how bad of a problem all of that oh, was. Yeah. It's bad here. It's even worse in Chicago and some other cities, but it's pretty bad here where they just like but steal been, your wheels. It's been bad, but not this it's bad. Been it bad. bad. It hasn't been this bad in a, in a while, yeah, actually. They could just it must be a, a, a legit team out there doing this because they are hitting these cars with with precision. Yeah, yeah, like I get I just I just get nervous even bring my car like within 10 minutes of downtown now. Yeah, yeah, like even man. in Midtown, even like Sandy Springs area, I'm like I don't know cuz I was um I was going to a gym in Sandy Springs and that gym I, it's like a luxurious ass gym. And, and it was the same gym I bumped into Kevin Harden. So it's like all the athletes and shit. When people come to Atlanta to do like films or, or music videos or whatever, and they need to go to a public gym that's not private, they usually just go to that gym in Sandy Springs that I go to. So, well, not I don't want to say usually. I can't speak for all, but I see plenty of celebrities there yeah. from time to time. Now, mm-hmm. at that gym, I thought it was safe to bring my favorite vehicles because I wouldn't think too much of it. Then I was talking to the lady at the front desk, and she was telling me how a car got broken into earlier that day. I was like, and this was way back when I used to go to that gym. So, I mean, I don't know if it's still like oh. that now. But I was like, that's crazy. Even in an area where you think like, oh, it's mad safe in here. And the cars are still getting broken into. It would be like in those areas, cars get normally get broken into if it's like an expensive car or people just think it's so it's so nice of an area and just leave stuff just lingering in the window. Yeah. Those people, I mean, I'm not saying, I mean, yeah, you still have to, it's still messed up. But like, you got to also just understand you're still in Atlanta. Because even yeah. if I'm, a little bit north of Atlanta and it's like a little bit better to live in those areas, it's still Fulton County. So niggas are still gonna rob you. You leave something yeah. in your car you think is valuable. You gotta just put everything up. You gotta make and, the car look like And to be honest with you though, that's where they go though. Because like I'm if I'm gonna do something illegal, I'm not gonna like Clayton County. That'd be wild. That'd be dumb as shit if I go to Clayton County and do It is some like shit. the nigga that you stole from probably you may run into him again. You ain't running to no nigga in Sandy Springs. If you no, but it's not even that. In Clayton, in Clayton, in Clayton <laughs> County. You hit car? Yeah, you did. Got that one. That's true. But in Clayton uh, you County. You done now. But you hit Miss. All the way in Sandy Springs. Yep, that's it's true. But, it, but in Clayton County, Clay, it's not even that. In Clayton County, the um the police are way more strict. And it's, e- it's easier to catch you down there because it's a smaller county. So the police are just around way more. Fulton County expands from... The tip of Sandy Spring all the way down to Union City, so it's it's much more thin, and they they only gonna really hit niggas if you actually doing something. But in Clayton County, if you doing something, they way way more strict, way more strict. But I'm not gonna do shit anyway there because that's fucking Clayton County. If I'm in Fulton County, nigga, I will purposely go out of my way to nicer areas because that's where dumb naive niggas live. They gonna think, oh no, I'm in Buckhead. I, I can sh- leave my iPhone 12 Max just sitting right here. Yeah, I'll leave it. Just running <laughs> the store for 10 minutes. Yep. And niggas <laughs> like, yeah, I got you, nigga. This new 4G Auto Rim is parked in the back right here in the shadows of the garage. Yes. Yeah, so nobody that's, touches that's the thing about, that's that's the thing about nice cars, though. You can't park them too close to other vehicles because people in Atlanta can't drive, so they'll scuff your shit. So I always park my car. Right where there's enough cars to where you want to do something reckless around this area, but not too far away. So it's like it's just your you got a solo dolo. But here's the thing: now, if you go somewhere for a few hours, the the congestion of the parking lots can change. Mm-hmm. So it could get more packed, and your car can get scuffed, or it can get less packed, and your car is a lick. So it's like you got to be quick when you're doing things. Yeah, One time I left my car in the perfect location. I went to Six Flags. And by the time I came back, the area I, I parked my car, <laughs> dead empty. Nigga is retarded, bro. Dead no, empty, bro. Like, Which car you took? That was my Range Rover, so I didn't give a fuck. Oh, okay, but no, no. but oh. if that was one of my favorite cars, I'd have, I would have been sweating buckets if I saw hey, my when car. You, when did you go to Six Flags? This was a while ago. This was like months ago. Mm-hmm. It was dead empty, too. Like, we didn't have to line up for nothing. Mm-hmm. And all the people at Six Flags. You said we? 
All the people at Six Flags knew uh, me, so I basically had like fast pass and shit. I didn't have to wait or nothing. It was beautiful. Y'all didn't have to wait. <coughs> we didn't wait. We didn't wait. Y'all didn't wait. Y'all didn't wait. Okay. Well, we yeah, we didn't. As you meant to say, what's up with y'all? I was just trying to get clarification. What's happening? That's it. When you went to Six Flags, when y'all went to Six Flags, all right. What was one did y'all have? It was I. Uh, it was not as fun as Wonderland. No, mm-hmm. not even close. No. Yeah, it's just it had some of the same rides with different names, um, but it didn't have the best rides there. Unfortunately, did you go on um, the? I went on everything because it was so empty. In they fact, it was. I would everything. go on the fastest ride. I forgot what it's called that they have there, and then it would be so empty that you could just actually stay sitting and then just go again. Wow! <laughs> but did you? But did you go in that ride? The ride I'm afraid of. Bro, that's was that in this Six Flags? Yeah, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that when I was there. Good, good. They good. wrote everything. Yeah, <laughs> I not, forgot about that. I didn't see it if you wrote it. That's included with everything, right? Huh? Tell me, yeah, you didn't write everything. Oh, but I, no, no, no. Sorry, I wrote the the fun ones. I didn't write the kitty shit. Uh, that's like, not kitty. Not kitty. What I'm talking about is not kitty. Wait, the, he's talking about a car, like a a boat that drives and has scary faces. That's what he's talking about. The kitty shit. Oh, Monster Mansion. Oh, is that what his name is? I'm not going to acknowledge what you just said. Yeah, that one. That he hates it. That I'm is not, his worst I'm nightmare. I'm not going to acknowledge you know what, what you just. I'm yeah, not as a kid, he's ter- he has yeah. severe PTSD. We, we, we could have got through it together, all of us. You know what I'm saying? We would have made sure you're safe, but we can we can go. It's probably still. It's gonna be dead. Actually, is it open? Probably is open because yeah, there's March. no winter in Atlanta. It's March. Yeah. 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 No, it's definitely closed during winter, but it's March now. Oh, okay. yeah, it should be open. Yeah, daylight savings is next week. So, yeah. Yeah. oh, sweet yeah. back, man. I'm not going to Mar- Monster Mansion, so sorry. You don't like monster magic? No. Is it? You yeah, I'm like water. Not, huh? You don't like water? No, it's not. You that. got a botophobia? It's just literally PTSD. Oh, you got attacked by monsters as a kid? No, I was I was lied to about that um, monster ride, and then <laughs> what they tell you? <laughs> they told they they legit tell you that it's nothing like crazy. It's like a boat ride, and you go in there, and it's yeah. like a whole bunch of like playful animatronics, and then you just like you know you get to the second part of what the ride. Tell you what happens in there. They don't tell you anything. They just like they. You think you just go on a, a happy boat ride? That's I know, it. but you said you had PTSD for some story as a kid. What did they tell you? Well, I'm, what I'm telling you is that when you get there, they they tell you that this is just like a boat ride. That's all yeah. it is. You get in there, and from the beginning, you're in a mental state of, oh, this is fun. This is cool. It's kind of creepy. But all right, this is cool. This is fun. And then it just veers off to the marsh. And then niggas don't tell you about that side of the thing. <laughs> so I'm like, so you got in the boat thinking it's just gonna be a boat ride. Yeah, and niggas, and niggas like, took you to the marsh and the music got low. You, you <laughs> I was like, nigga, I was like, I was a little like, low star pedicure. No, ma, ma, ma. And I was like, nigga, what the they fuck? They said is, about the marsh. I was like, nigga, what the fuck is going on right now? What the fuck is this shit? And then like, it was just done. I was in there, and that shit scared the living shit out of me, bro. <laughs> And just when you think, just when you think it's done, they cut the corner and that huge ass dragon his mouth is right there. Yeah. That shit threw me off too. <laughs> and then as soon as you cut it too, they they do the little horn, they honk the horn, and it's like it just like just blares in your ear, so you get scared even more. I'm just thinking about little low just riding his like, <laughs> You got to the marsh, nigga. I was I ain't gonna lie, bro. To this day, I, I'm still like I just get like even right now, my heart is a little you know, my heart pounding and a little you harder. Now you realize how. Them, them ride I mean so fun. serious I did what you did And I still was afraid Not as an adult But like I went First half when I was like 7 I was like ah, I'll do this shit again When I was like Nah I was like ah, That shit really scary And I was not I was like Oh no this shit Still scary <laughs> as fuck nigga <laughs> This shit still <laughs> scary I'm 45 nigga. still scared man Oh man I'm still you know That shit crazy Now when I As soon as I had kids I'm gonna you're, let them Niggas get on there ride it. Huh? Your son I'm gonna you, let him ride you it. Tell him about the marsh. No, no tell him like, oh no. my god, there's gonna be butterflies. You're gonna and tell him it's a boat. I'm gonna just tell him it's a boat ride. The same way no, they ride to say, us. Daddy, why you not riding if it's just a boat? <laughs> like, it's a kids ride. Go ahead and go, Junior, and just let that nigga get on the ship, bro. No, Dad, he's riding it. I'm gonna let that nigga get on the boat. Nah, it's just a boat. Dad, how come gone. I see the kids exiting crying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are the kids crying when they leave? Is. They don't do that. Hmm. Huh? They don't do that. What do you mean? The way that the line is set up, you don't see the people coming out. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and so when yeah, when you, you hear tears, <laughs> <laughs> unless yeah, unless the niggas just straight up screaming, crying, you don't hear, you don't hear. Like, and that, so uh, by the time you get up there, you get in there, and in the next boat, by the time you're going in, the next one is coming behind you. So you how disappointed are you going to be if your son or daughter grows up with garbage basketball opinions? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't care. Oh, right here. If they if they say something like. 
Kelly Oubre was the best player of his era. <laughs> That's gonna be tough. You gonna beat the shit out of that? That's gonna be tough, bro. That's yeah, you don't tough. have a Kelly Oubre jersey? <laughs> That's gonna be tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired of niggas trying to hold me to some type of basketball yeah, your take your months ago too. Where's your Gerber shorts? My go bear. <laughs> He's an all star now. You don't give no respect. <laughs> I should start doing that though. I should start um, not go bear though. Fuck that. Uh, I should start collecting trash niggas um, jerseys. Yeah, I can't. That's even, be I can't. so useless. Uh, <laughs> like an Adam Morrison jersey just to collect. Uh, oh my god. Family. You should collect jerseys from like people who didn't make it though. Like they they're supposed to make it, but they didn't make it. So bus, yeah, yeah. Adam Morrison's a good call. Kwame Brown. <laughs> I'm gonna have a bus. I'm gonna have a bus jersey collection. Hey, but then like as a player, a nigga that almost made it. Like like, like you could have got an Andrew Wiggins jersey a couple years ago, but then you got to sell it if he starts performing. Yeah, good. he's like this nigga's starting to play too good oh. now, nigga. <laughs> the value of this is going out too much. <laughs> Averaging 12 points per game. I got to get rid of it. Yo, no cap, he's not averaging that much more. Next oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ain't that much far off. Yeah. And it's a good thing for that nigga, yeah. which is sus. So how y'all think about that dunk contest? Them three, that shit was weak. Them three niggas. Weak as fuck. Yeah, yeah man. The three-point contest was more fun than that. Who's your favorite out of the three? Uh, I like uh, Obi Toppin more. Who? Obi Toppin. You fucked up the joke because you knew the players. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Uh, I like that second guy the best. The guy that's wearing yellow. Oh, yellow. Yeah, yellow. I was fucking with red. Oh, what's the name? Jersey Switch. Yeah, Jersey, Jersey Switch. Switch. Was Jersey cool. Switch. Yeah. I thought it was going to be Vince Carter, but it was really T Mag. Yeah, yeah it was like, a wild <laughs> thing to pull off. I was like, I was like, oh, another Vince Carter take? Oh. All right, let's see if Vince when Carter. He almost kissed the rim. Bro. And they gave that nigga. Bro, he <laughs> almost. When the guy jumped. Caught a ball and put it in just because it was high on the back where I was like, that, what are we, His athleticism is, won him that. No, that's a bad dunk, bro. And and it's, it's a bad dunk for a dunk it, contest. It's, and it's hard to do, though. I, I, all, all of them are hard to do. But Kimmy Smith was like, oh, it's so real. Oh, and I, was I think like, he was scripted to say that. I was that like, I give there's no crowd there, so I know you got to be a little louder. But um, no, buddy, that's, yeah. that's not it. I was watching the. You're dunking for CP, and, CPUs. <laughs> in the second quarter, one of the commentators was like, wow, there's only 2,500 fans in here, but it's awfully loud. You wouldn't think it. And the other commentator was like, uh, miss, they're fake sounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Did you hear the commentator when he did that oh. one dunk and he said he lost in the Who? background? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he lost. I missed that part. That shit was so funny. Uh, I don't think they supposed to cut the mic off at that point, but he let it slide. Yeah, yeah, that was a horrible dunk contest. I ain't gonna lie you. They, they, I think. Why was there only three players? One got packed up because of the runner? No, because they needed. It was in, only it was between so half quick. time. Yeah, it was, in, it was in between half time. They, they so couldn't do it. Fuck. No, like no, we need four people in there. Trophy. Yeah, that's I'm, it. That was such a like. I think the concept of it was cool to have dunk contest in the middle of the All Star game, but man, was it just not fun to watch? <laughs> like just overall. And what happened to the aesthetic? Was it like an, there has to be like an insurance reason why the lights aren't dark? Why is the lights all bright as shit? What's going on? I don't know, bro. They gotta make sure they see everybody. That's a nigga not coughing in the, the shadow. There needs to be a spotlight <laughs> and just a large spotlight on the player, and then the rest of the facility needs to be dim. I'm being so serious when I say I don't think we'll ever have a better one in 2016. I know, and it's because it was in Toronto. They had to bring it back to Toronto, probably. No, it's just yeah. that it, we're, we're running out of Atlanta, bro. We run it on the Rona. We're yeah. running out of um, ideas. Uh, I just think after put it a in while. Texas. Nah, you uh, could redo certain ideas and it can still be dope. But what they were doing though in 2016, a lot need, of them were original. Props, though. Like jumping over a Kia is not impressive. It was just the prop made it fun. You need props. Even but the one guy was an OB who no. jumped over the person, but then he like pushed off. And I'm like, the hood ah. of the Kia. Yeah, the hood of a Kia. The hood of Kia. Then they said Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin won. I was watching it live and I lost my fucking mind. He didn't really need the rest of the car. He could have got I half thought, of it. I'm going to be honest with Blake Griffin did that a few years ago. I was like, I, I feel like I was like, this nigga can definitely jump over the whole car. Yeah, me so too. But about? that first take though, before you saw the replays, didn't you lose your mind? Then you saw the replays, you was like, no, uh, this is when I, lo- I, lo- I was losing it. And when Blake dunked and he hung on it and he just stepped on the hood, I was like, oh, you're not that high up, huh? You're just, you're just, your feet are literally touching the hood right now. Yeah. So, actually, not that impressive. That was, that's a, that's a bit like, man, that is an incredible sponsorship, though. I remember Kobe jumped over that car, moving car. Remember that video? That it was, was fake. fake. Yes, yeah, John. And I fought with Kobe, but it, it was definitely fake. Bro? Yeah, yeah, it was a fake video. But, the, but even when Aaron Gordon jumped over the, the mascot, 
Like that's not a normal. He didn't normally jump over a basket. Yeah, yeah. It was on a hoverboard spinning. No, was he spinning? Yeah. No, no, no. That, that yeah. was that was when he caught it and did a thing. Oh, okay. I'm talking about when a nigga ran and like caught it in between his legs and his feet were up, like just like straight flat. Mm-hmm. So he he cleared it completely. Mm-hmm. Not no push off. I'm talking about the same dunk. No, no, no. The hoverboard one is when he was spinning around. Yeah, that one. I know what you're talking about when he went. Oh, okay. Leg. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Right. When he did the um. Yeah. That right there. I I ain't gonna lie. That might legit me the the greatest. Dunk dunk I've ever seen and it was fucking judged poorly. No, just that dunk. Oh, I think that is the greatest dunk I've ever seen. Yeah, me too. When I saw that, I literally came. I, when I saw it, I was like, "There's no way that nigga just came did." Where? In my pants. <laughs> oh. Okay, that might legit have been. I, when I saw it, I was like, "There's no way that nigga did that." This, made you that wet? actually doesn't make any sense for him to do that. I, it just made me so happy that that happened in Toronto. You know what I'm saying? Why is the dunk contest so tightly tied to Toronto? Because because Vince Carter nigga, made the I dunk swear. contest lit, right? What, what team was he playing for when he did that? Toronto. Okay, so what about when you know Dominique and Spud Webb and you're going Michael deep. Jordan? You're going real deep to call these references. I'm talking about this millennia right now, buddy. Keep up. This millennia, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just saying the last couple times Toronto was associated, uh, except DeMar Rosen. Um it it was uh I mean he got robbed though, no cap. He did, he did. He yeah, he did one hundred percent. And that was the same Blake Griffin one. Yeah. And I and I pardon me, I was like, No, he's actually what he did in that last one was actually way better than what a lot of niggas did. But niggas don't know that, though. They need props, though. I swear props will make it better. I don't think it'll make it better. I think it just makes it cheesier. Because it's like, I already know you're getting that high to begin with. I don't need you to jump over something to prove oh, to me you're getting Oh, but high. that's how you make it endless. endless. If it is, though, it needs to be better than jumping over the hood of Akia. Yeah, 100%. It needs to be like... Jump over Ford at Silverado. <laughs> That'd be wild, actually. <laughs> jump over a car the long way. <laughs> Like JaVale McGee ha- added an extra basketball net and that dunked on both basketball nets. Well, like, what are we talking about right now? Or this- when Dwight he put it up to a a, a twelve foot rim, yeah, and, st- and threw it off and grabbed it and still dunked it and still dunked it. With JaVale, I mean Gerald Green blew a cupcake from the top of the backboard. God damn it! Was it top of the backboard? Uh, no, 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 it was, it was the just, bottom of the backboard. The of the I feel like it was the wind of the dunk, but we can no, no, you literally see him. No, he blew it. He blew it. Literally see him blow it. Yeah, at first I was like, that's a horrible dunk. And I saw the replay and I came. That replay always does it justice. Yeah. Thank God for oh, replays. Every, every time. We had replays. About Except for Vince five, Carter. I, I actually didn't need a replay for Vince Carter. I was like, oh, no, that's I knew it in the moment. I was like, oh, that's actually fucking A 360 hard. minute windmill was yeah, enough. Yeah, I was like, like was that like, was I'm, enough. And he started off, I was like, wow, okay. Every, now, after Vince Carter, every time a, a player gets like real high, I'm like, oh, it's about to be an elbow hang. <laughs> He's about to go crazy. They do a regular dunk, I just get disappointed because the elbow hang is my favorite dunk of all time. No, no, really, what? <laughs> After Vince Carter, every single time a dunk contest comes around, I have to see like in the, the NBA is going to just promote that shit as if like Vince yeah. Carter, he's like he's a he's a marquee player of the NBA for the past thirty years. <laughs> it's like remember when Vince Carter did this thing, right, guys? <laughs> like the same thing you told me last year, nigga. Hey, hey isn't it a shame that LeBron never joined the dunk contest? It is a shame. an absolute shame. I don't think he would have won though. It don't matter. He had to win. I don't even think people wanted him to, people just wanted to see what he could I do. I take that, but it was a stretch where he definitely could have won. He, I think he could have, but yeah. it didn't matter whether or not he did. Yeah. I think it was just LeBron would be entertaining to watch in a dunk contest. They got to do the dunks from the from the from the game with Carmelo on the cover. Was it Street Volume? Not Street Volume or NBA court? Live? Yeah, home, home court. court. Home, home court. court. When they I dunk thought he was it, talking about NBA they get Live. the ball. Yeah, that was oh five. You know they dunk it, like, oh, shit, and they grab it with their feet. They dunk it, grab it with their feet, throw it back up. Kaboom! Steve Nash like, might be able to do something like that if he was tall enough. And Bead might. Cause Embiid played a bunch of soccer and shit growing up. Bro, if he did that, like dunked it, caught it with his feet, threw it back up, and yammed it again. You seen Embiid tweeted? Ten out of ten. What is it? He said Mickey Mouse All Star Game. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's a troll, bro. I never watched. If I was Adam Silver, I'd be pissed. I was like, nigga, really? <laughs> There's no way that nigga said that. Google it. I mean, just go to Twitter right now. I, I it was something like that. It was like Mickey Mouse something. <laughs> Fucking to be that guy. I just man, he's one of my favorite players in the NBA right well, now. He wasn't in the All Star game, was he? He was supposed to be, he's but the Rona packed injured, him up. Yeah. Damn. Contact tracing and shit. You see it? Hold on, I'm trying to look it up right now. Yeah, and B is. I just like the fact that he enjoys having fun on the court. I hope the same way they tried to take away Dwight's smile. I hope Embiid never loses that smile, man. Well, Dwight just, is. I mean, Embiid is better, so that's that's fine. He, that's not gonna happen to him. Okay, so Embiid right now way better than Dwight in his prime. Okay. 
Oh, okay. I'm just seeing if you agree. Because uh, Dwayne in his prime carried Hadu Turkaloo to the finals. <laughs> yeah, he did. He said Mickey Mickey Mouse All Star Game. Ha ha. <laughs> He's a fucking troll, my nigga. <laughs> What's the joke? I don't get it. Last year when they when they won the championship, everybody's making fun of LeBron because they put the um they put the bubble in in Orlando next to um Disneyland Disneyland. Yeah. So everybody called him. That's just a Mickey Mouse ring. Like like Mickey Mouse gave you that ring. Yeah. A Mickey Mouse ring. You don't really count. So now he's just saying that's a Mickey Mouse All Star game. That shit don't count. Oh. <laughs> but just mad disrespectful because I don't, I don't I don't think I don't think there's an actual NBA player who would say some shit like that because it's like if Adam Silver's like damn nigga what, what the fuck y'all niggas doing bro and the fact for him to him to just say for for the the fact that there's an NBA player who just in on the meme is wild to me yeah. and then for him to then say the meme is also wild. It's like saying if a nigga saying I want Iguodala to shoot at the Curry one to three point contest. It's like Iguodala would have won, nigga. <laughs> just, just, Iguodagua. Just can imagine if a nigga said that. What you call him? Iguodagua. Yeah, we're talking about the same person. Yeah, I mean, be, I just also I, Dwight. Dwight carrying the team isn't as impressive as you try to make it out to be. How it's that? impressive, but it's not. Do as you impressive. remember who they who they play? They uh, beat LeBron's team. Oh, okay, and that's impressive. Right one of the greatest. Oh, LeBron, never mind. Never mind. No, well, okay, Larry Hughes. Yeah, what's his Larry Hughes and Zach Eunice? No, never mind. Mario, <laughs> uh, uh, Mo Williams. <laughs> no, no. He's one of the greatest centers of all time. The White? Yeah. All right, anyway. Yo, I'm not going to lie. When I was a kid. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? He's not. No, so, I'm talking about the White. You know, nigga. No, I didn't say the White Howard. I said the White. Around your lips. That's what he's about to say. <laughs> The way to run your lips. Anyway, okay, look. Uh, when I was a kid and I found out that LeBron had a teammate right. called Booby Gibson, man, that was one of the greatest moments of my life. It was a grown man called Booby. And I we just. went to my high school. My, uh, not my high school, but my competitors. Were? That made me so happy because it's like, we like making fun of dumb shit when you're a tiny teeny bopper. You just find sh- like the whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? If your name is Marcel, we're going to think of. The dumbest thing we could associate with your name, and we're gonna make fun of you due to that fact. So if your name is Booby, you're just giving us layups. Come here, Titty Boy. <laughs> homework, yeah. but, they, but, they, but they probably, but they probably gave him. They probably gave him hey, the name, bro. Boy, quiet. <laughs> we play it. And he was good too, yo. And they, they probably Williams. gave him that lame name, though. Yeah, I think it was a nickname. I think it was, Dan- was it Daniel Booby Gibson. Yeah, Forgot what his first name yeah, was. Daniel. Titties. That practice is sick. Don't be like, <laughs> that's so wild. <laughs> It's such a, uh, if Booby doesn't have anything with Daniel either. This <laughs> is a random name. That's a crazy yeah. nickname to call Ola. a grown man. <laughs> Actually, somebody, somebody in NBA because I'm not doing that video. Y'all figure out why a nigga nickname is Booby. Hey, get your yeah. soft ass up, tits. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Hey, tits up. Come, Come on. Here. Come on. <laughs> what if they call a play? Power tits. Power tits. <laughs> yeah. That'd be wild. Uh, right, so we need titties to hit this screen, go around, drop up, throw it in the air, boobies, dunk it. I need mean, <laughs> straight breast milk in the paint. <laughs> and they call the fucking play. Uh, breast milk, breast milk, breast milk, breast milk. They run it through booby. They run it through booby. <laughs> yeah. Oh What's shit. For breasts. Yeah, I remember that's those days, just, man. That's actually crazy. You know they. That's what they do, though, right? What? Right. They call. That's they just they mass plays like um they they um there's a playing basketball called twenty one. And so there's some some teams will call it Savage, like 21 Savage, shit like that, right? Uh-huh. And so about to make it easier to remember some shit. So the other team doesn't know that they're about to run a, a yeah. 21. I don't know, bro. If, if if you say like Savage, Savage, yeah. If you say Savage, I'm gonna think slaughter like Slaughter Gang, Slaughter yeah. Gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So that was a, that was a, that was a joke when back when it was um when Blake Griffin and Chris Paul and DeAndre Jordan was on the same team. Mm-hmm. Chris Paul's coming out and saying, he, yeah, when Blake back when Blake well, he was, was on the news a lot." Yeah, facts. <laughs> yeah. Chris Paul came down and said, "Savage, Savage," and Blake got it, DJ got it, and then JJ Redick is like, "What are y'all talking about right now? What is Savage? What does that mean?" And then CP's like stopping in the middle, of Savage. I'm like, no, what is that? Savage, nigga. And he's like, he had to yell at him with twenty one just so he can get it, and he just fucked up the whole play because he's white. He doesn't know what twenty one Savage is. Wait, so they made a play without telling him? It's they, but he th- they thought they thought they, they thought that he knew if they said savage that he would know it's twenty one. Oh, my boy's confused. <laughs> yeah, that nigga, that nigga don't but know. They said savage gonna... what? And that nigga's like savage, savage what? Dream. What savage nigga dream. was savage? And he had to sit there and tell him it's twenty one. Classy bougie ratchet. Yeah, that'd be wild actually. <laughs> if they just call the shit out the um, make it classy bougie yeah. ratchet savage. 
Oh, but then they went back to calling it the 21st president, which was, I think, like Chester or something like that. Chester. That's too much thinking. <laughs> like, I don't want no, to have to. really. Name your kid Dick. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be, that's not fun. You name your kid body parts. Elbow, penis. Weenus. Ankles. Or they'll, they'll call neck. it, they'll call it like um, Fresh Prince and they'll be the Will. And it's like, you just know Will, Fresh Prince. Like, that's how y'all know that shit. I, want, I don't think it'd be that that difficult if I am, if that plays for me, though. Nah, but you could make the wrong association. Like if you say Fresh Prince, I might think like Princeton and, you know, Princeton it's offense. It's a whole offense, though. It's not, this is set. It's not a set. But you could, you could see why, like, they should be so automatic. You shouldn't have to think because it's only 24 seconds. You shouldn't have to think for two seconds about, like, all you right. Double. What is what does this mean? But if I say savage and we practice twenty one all the time, you'll know it. Yeah, John probably. know it. Davis will know it. Everybody would know it because we're black. So that's why it's good to have black teammates. Yep, that's why it's good to have black teammates. You understand each other's references. Chappelle show, if you ever do come back, we just bless you with a funny He's idea. He's back on the Witch though. Netflix. It's on Netflix. He's back on Oh, Netflix. he definitely got paid. Congratulations, yeah, Chappelle. For sure. <laughs> Congratulations, Chappelle. It's good to see. It's good to see Chappelle getting paid, man. Also, you shouldn't have signed the original. Playback made it to Pornhub. What? Huh? Uh they're they're commenting in Pornhub. Someone uh sub tweeted me. They had like a screenshots in the comments. They were talking about uh they're talking about you, your girlfriend and stuff in the, in the Pornhub comments. Hear from playback. Um, age is your girlfriend. I see why that's your girlfriend. Um, that's y'all niggas are weird, bro. <laughs> let me read them. No, uh, let me go to let me go to Pornhub right now. Yeah, man. that's wild. I don't know what video they just saw. T- I got the tweets. Hold on, here we go. What we got here? There's no way y'all niggas did this shit, bro. <laughs> uh, where they boys? At? If oh, I oh, look at this, it's Mark. It, what is he saying? What? I think Mark saying something with a he had a Naruto hoodie on. The, the volume's off. I don't know what he was agreeing to. Oh, Dean's there too. Ah, let me find another video. Here we go. Niggas were talking. All right, here we go. It says, yo, one more dude from Playback Comic. Good looking out, bro. This stuff's some heat. <laughs> That's what ED2297 said. And ED? Limp Dick Willie won. <laughs> <laughs> you know said, what ED yes, means, sir. right? Huh? You know what that means? What? Erectile dysfunction. Oh, well, erectile <laughs> function one said three days ago, yes, sir. With a laughing emoji, uh, T got them hoes. Hey yo, y'all go listen to Peter Peer podcast, best podcast out. Uh, it got six <laughs> likes by the way. So niggas horny and got something to watch. Yeah, podcast we all want. Uh, oh Peter Peer brought me here. This is Agent New Girlfriend. Nigga Agent said Peer to Peer brought me here. Yeah. Telling the porn up comment section. This is man. Agent's new girlfriend. Agent is a YouTuber. His YouTube is Agent Zero. Agent Zero One. <laughs> he has a Peer to Peer podcast. He's and no. Has, and you know what's so crazy? I'm reading over. He's not even capping. And has playback. Agent Luckily, Lucky ASL. What does that mean? ASL means ass. Um, I have no idea. I always get confused with that one. I know me ASL too. Is me funny. too. ASL. What does that mean? I Google it like once a month just to find out again. I, I, I just I use ne- S. I fuck. never use that acronym. Yeah, me too. Hold on, I'll look at her real quick. SCA is H sometimes too. Yeah, I, but he's not even captain. If you type in her um, thing, it's the first one. As hell. Lucky as hell. Yo, that boy. Man, we on porn hard now. Yeah, agent agent about to be getting it good. God damn. God damn. That was 10 hours ago. What the fuck? Damn. <laughs> Niggas on there for today. <laughs> that boy erectile dysfunction. Y'all niggas one. are horny. I never in my life. I've never seen y'all niggas. You go gotta be to real it. dirty to have to beat your beat to make a comment. Yeah, you do. He beat his meat. Wipe his hands. And I gotta give a biography on me huh? <laughs> in the comment section. Man, dirty hands commenting your name. Important comment. That's crazy. That's how like you are watching a nigga watch his girl get fucked. Yeah. So what enjoyment you got at? Uh, maybe he, you just envision yourself being the person sitting there. And that's the shit that you like. Nah, that's some weird shit though. Well, yeah. Can you imagine if your girl cheated on you and you got excited? Like you should have invited me. <laughs> like some niggas like that. How come I couldn't watch? Yeah, some niggas like that. Just they can't please a the girl they want to, so they just let somebody else do it. Hey, John. Maybe that's but not true. I think, no, I think that is true. I think, I think, I think that's only. I think John, that's just what you told yourself. I think, I think that's only half of the conversation. Because huh? I think that's only half of the conversation. If I can't oh, please my girl the way that she may want to be pleased, that doesn't mean I have to watch it though. Like there's so many options. Yeah, she can just oh, so you just don't, you just don't want to be there. 
That's what I'm saying. I, if 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 the end what? result was, that's what he said. That's what Lo said. No, 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 no. no, no, no the no. point I'm making is that the end result is so my girl, girl no more. Yo, if if I couldn't please her, then you just get toys involved. The last thing I'm letting her do is. No, fuck but the some point, but the point I'm making is the when a nigga's watching his girl get fucked, I don't think the the baseline like problem is that he isn't and, and he isn't like um, pleasuring her enough because she can just go get fucked by somebody else or just get toys. There's yeah. other options, but if you're watching her get fucked, there's something else. That's that's more oh, than just be nutted on you. Okay. <laughs> Hey, we're ending the podcast. John is, what do you do? John, what do you no, do? Stop. You just sitting there. Stop. stop. Or you cameraman, and you got to get a close-up. Yep. He's on the forehead. Bow. Uh, porn, porn, that's yo. That's the category, close-up. Porn no. cameraman or, like, I don't know, the shit they got to go through is just wild. Yeah, it is. Besides, I know how cameras work. You can zoom without being that close. You have to be, like, asexual. This nigga just sat there and said, what if the nigga nuts on the boyfriend, bro? <laughs> Bro, just, what? Like, what do you just say? You like, damn, my the bad. Level of disrespect that would be, bro. Damn, my bad. What if? Never mind. Hey, but what if he wanted that though? <laughs> the boyfriend wanted that. This yes. to top off the humiliation. <laughs> what if he? No, like, that's what I'm saying. It's it's he gets off or not. He gets off not off the fact that she's being pleasured. He's getting off by the humiliation of watching his girl get pleasured. Ain't that the shit you like? No, no, no. Like no domination. A, not humiliation. So, so, so the point I'm making is he might actually want to get nut on though, because that's more humiliation. Hey, no, bro. We're done. We're done. This that's podcast is wild. over. This podcast is over. Look at John. I don't, I'm not I'm just like That nigga might legitimately enjoy watching his girl get nut on. And then he wants like give me some nut too, babe. I need to be humiliated. Get her shit just slain. Just get her shit slain. <laughs> That's so wild, yo. Y'all niggas are weird, bro. Is that what you went to? Isn't that crazy? Ah, oh, I mean, nah, okay, I'm done. I'm done. But if he nut her mouth, that's even worse. If he nut in her, that's even worse. I think you the best place to go. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you gotta no, take John. it home anyway. No, John. That's the milk. floor. <laughs> Dog. Uh, the, in the <laughs> condom. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> the John t- went from like it can't be her mouth, can't be it can't be, be in her. her. Gotta be on me. Yeah. No, I, no, 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 place no, no, that no, can no, go. No, 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 no. Didn't say me. Said you. Didn't say me. Didn't say me. Gotta do it on me, man. Didn't say me. I wish there was a no uh, way. <laughs> hey, nigga, there's so many options, nigga. I didn't say me. On her back. I said you. In the condom. She's like, no, there's on the no floor, the wall, her yeah. hand, her but stomach, her titties. But since exhausted all of our options with mouth and inside, just nut on me and I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, damn. Thank you, Lionel. That's crazy. That's the third thing. That's- that nigga's already in the wrong place. If that nigga is close oh. enough to get nut on, that excessive. <laughs> that nigga's in the oh. wrong place oh. at the wrong time. Oh if that nigga's close enough for the nigga to pull out and then nut on you, no nigga, you're in the wrong spot, bro. Damn. What if your girl said that though? Hey man, no. <laughs> what, what if your girl said? No, that means she already cheated. No, no, no. no. What, if, no what if your girl? She's you know, already yo, cheating. No, she, she knew on someone else with you. Oh, okay. She was like, I already got a boyfriend, but he likes to watch. Nope. And he he said he'll pay you ten thousand to pull up and fuck his girl. And he watch and he watch. Hey, I just Make lost it. a chance at a hundred thousand and didn't shed a tear. So I'm definitely not gonna humiliate myself. You're not humiliating you're yourself. yourself. You're, you're fucking his girlfriend. Know, real ass that's, nigga. That's humiliating. Ten thousand. <laughs> imagine, imagine that. Com- imagine that video. Imagine leaks. him open the door. That's. Right. A, I ain't gonna lie. That's what I was about to say. The amount of money that nigga has to just always give up to get lift his fantasy is wild. Because he has to find another man that's uh, comfortable with that. He don't really gotta give that much. No. <laughs> no. No. Hey, John, how much you do it for, man? Huh? How much you do it for? Do what? To fuck let a nigga watch another... you fuck his girlfriend. I'll take a pay cut just to fuck where he's not watching. No, no, no. He's watching. That's the whole thing. Hmm? He's watching. That's the whole thing. Oh, so what's your price? Nigga, we asked him and he, he just pivot, what's nigga. Your what's your price, nigga? Because no, he said 10 grand ain't enough. So, so you grand. and you said he might have to spend that much. So what is it? Shit, t- 10 grand enough for me. All right, shit. Well, let's say eight. Huh? He said eight. Eight? Shit, I'm still fucking her. 
while he watching, hmm? he watching six feet. That's it. COVID. I'm about to say six feet. Six feet is not enough. Six feet still might not be enough. How far is six feet? Not enough. Not far John, enough. We've been in a pandemic for over a year. You don't know how far. Uh, you don't see the don't, don't be laugh. the floor. They don't last on the floor that long. They don't last that long. Don't you have it outside yet? When you go to when you go to Walmart, you don't see the stickers on the floor. <laughs> let you know what six feet is. True, true. Oh, the true. footprints. <laughs> you see yeah, the footprints you don't see that? Six feet apart from each other. Six man. feet is just two yards. Six. That's not far enough, nigga. Yeah. Um, it's two meters. Eight bands. Not two eight yards. bands. You do eight she bands. Bad? Huh? She bad. Yeah. Bad as fuck. Yep. Yep. Eight bands. Would you do it for two thousand? But she's bad though. She's a ten. Two thousand. That's just easy money, really. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Really so why are you thinking money? about eight? Yeah, that is going. He's like, huh? the more I think about it, it's just easy money for me to make. Easy but money, what if that yeah. nigga was making noise in the corner? What do you mean? He, he getting off. Stimulations. He getting off though. I'm saying. Wait, what do you mean? So oh wait, he has. To, he's jerking off. Oh, that's yeah, he's getting off on this. Say that. So 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 he's in the back corner moaning and beating his meat <laughs> while you fucking. He's like, yeah, fuck her harder. Oh, if he's giving instructions, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Look at John. John, I guess two thousand is enough for John. Nah. Hey man, huh? Nah, that's not enough. That'd be wild if a nigga if a cuck told you what to do. <laughs> that's, not, that's not enough. That's not enough. You didn't say all that. I thought all right, it was just... all right, let's wrap this up, bro. Man, what was it? So what's your price, low? You never said your price. I wouldn't do it for probably any price. Probably mine no be, be like 15. 15? Yeah. I wouldn't do it for any price, no cap. 15. But I'm telling you, that nigga, he's, he has to spend a lot of money, bro. He has That's to. That's crazy. He has to. I hope have a nut battle. Right, he's getting thank off you for listening to the Podcast. Yeah, right, up, Wait, I want to thank y'all for watching, man. Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. Thanks for showing love. Apple Versus. Podcasts. People, make sure to drop a five star. Peer to peer. The video is available at Peer to Peer on YouTube. Make sure to check it out. Notification, gang, 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 gang. We um, were in the beginning. Yeah, you did. Also, you... shout out to everybody out there. Word of my people, we almost had 100k on playback, bro. Oh yeah, we're literally like 800 away from playback. Uh, uh, from 100k. Yeah, sir. Okay, yeah. we might actually. Yeah, sirski. Oh, well, let's find out real quick, man. Hey, John, you've been wild all podcasts, man. <sighs> what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. And we know that to be a fact. So, yeah, 800 still. 7,800. Oh, wow, boy. Oh, well. yep. Tough. Hey, uh, on that note, I'm going to go to Pornhub and type in agent zero, see what pops up. I don't, don't tell me when you find out. <laughs> don't, don't let me know what you find out. I don't think I want to know. Um, Lola, any final words? Nope, I'm good, bro. John, any final words? Nope. But on that point, note right there, we want to say thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and kindly fuck off. Catch you guys in the next one. I'm in word of mouth, people. We love you guys.